Chapter 141, A True Villain Has to Wait Until Last to Appear The next day, the sun rose as usual. Because something big happened last night, many people stayed up all night. After the root organization base exploded, Saratobi and Anbu Ninja investigated but did not find any traces, they only found Danzo's broken ninja sword. A living person can't just disappear, right? According to preliminary judgment, Danzo should have a fierce fight with a fire ninjutsu user ninja. They don't know if he escaped, disappeared, or was killed. It's a pity that they didn't have a clue. After Danzo's disappearance, Saratobi's heart was empty. He could only temporarily assume that it was Itachi or Obito who did it. Does this mean that in this Chunin exam, the three Kanaha S-class missing nin will appear? Today the influential people and the leaders of the small ninja village will arrive at Kanaha, so today's Chunin exam must go on. Saratobi could only conquer his complicated mood, put aside Danzo's affairs, and set off for the Chunin exam arena. He was waiting for the high-level personnel from Sunagakur to come and watch the game. On the high platform of the Chunin exam arena, Saratobi watched as two sand ninja guards came to protect an old woman. His eyes couldn't help but change a little, Chodano, it's been a long time. I didn't expect to see an old friend one of this day. It really was this old woman. With no Kazakage successors in Sunagakur, Cho had to come forward. Cho slowly sat down in her place and said, Hokage Dano looks much older. Is it? Saratobi chuckled slightly and said with a smile, Our generation has grown old, so I wanted to retire a few years ago. But seeing Chodano control Sunagakur again, I suddenly felt excited and come up. After saying that, Saratobi turned his head and continued, If Chodano can be promoted to become the fifth Kazakage at the age of 69, I will personally rush to congratulate Chodano's succession ceremony. Cho pondered for a while before she said, My age is already old, and unlike Hokage Dano, who is so greedy for power. The position of the fifth Kazakage should be given to young people. I can recommend a candidate for you, Chodano. Saratobi didn't care about the secret irony in Chiyo's word and continued with a smile, I used to have an ineffective disciple called Orochimaru, who is good at wind ninjutsu. Do you think he is suitable to become the Kazakage of your village? Has the game not started yet? Cho gritted her teeth and changed the subject. She suddenly understood why the outside world hated this bastard Saratobi Hiruzen. His mouth can really speak. Saratobi looked at the several young ninjas who had arrived underneath and whispered, It should start soon. This time there are many good little guys. Omega Kure, Uehara Nariku and Yuki Haku. Sunagakur, Gara and Temari. Kanahagakur, Narashikamaru, Hayaganiji, and Uzumaki Naruto. The other one was Uchiha Suzuki who doesn't know why he hasn't arrived at the venue yet. Naruto and Sakura have looked for him overnight, and yet they did not find him. Uehara stood next to Naruto. Seeing his face look terrible, he asked eagerly, What's the matter, Naruto? Did you get nervous and didn't sleep last night? He, is it? Shikamaru also looked at Naruto with a grin, Naruto, in fact, this is just a small scene, so don't be nervous in the show later. I'm fine. Naruto was a little unexpected. He just shook his head gently, looking at Uehara and Shikamaru. The smiles on their faces were a little strange and calming, Shikamaru, Uehara, this time, my performance will definitely surprise you all. That's good. Uehara patted him on the shoulder. Just when he wanted to continue to say something, the chief examiner of their third exam walked up to them. Uchiha Suzuki has not arrived yet, but the exams must start. The two that I will mention will stay and be the first to fight, and the other participants will return to the preparation zone. With a book in his hand, Shiranui Genma read the name of the first match participant aloud, Chunin exam first one-on-one -on -one battle. Uzumaki Naruto vs. Hayaganiji. The first battle has been determined. Others stepped aside, leaving the main stage to Naruto and Niji, waiting for their results. Naruto slowly raised his head and looked at Niji, I said during the qualifiers. I will definitely win this one. Is it? Niji didn't care about Naruto's attitude and said arrogantly, when you see the reality, you will know how downhearted you are. You talk too much nonsense. Naruto's figure appeared in front of Niji at a speed that was difficult to capture and swing his fist, hitting Niji's lower abdomen. This scene almost shocked everyone. No one would have thought that Naruto would be one to attack in the beginning. Haku looked at this scene in astonishment, Uehara, that little yellow-haired guy it feels like he's been reborn in this month. 
Isn't this normal? Uehara tickled the corner of his mouth and said with a light smile, Hee hee, the blackening is three times stronger, where is this going? Wait and see, the show will soon begin. On the field. Naruto suppressed Niji almost completely. Byakugan. Niji used Byakugan and looked at Naruto's chakras with horror. He even saw a touch of red chakras flowing from Naruto's body. What kind of chakra was that? Looking at Naruto who flew again, Niji uses the technique that he mastered in advance, Hakish Kaden. Eight trigrams palms revolving heaven. Naruto's body was instantly knocked out by the eight trigrams palms revolving heaven. The battle becomes more intense. Naruto looked like a stubborn beast, and he continued to attack Niji. Even if he was repeatedly repelled, he kept moving forward. With the fierce battle, Naruto's mood gradually became irritable. Naruto's eyes suddenly turned red. A group of red chakra appeared on his body, and a chakra tail appeared behind him. This scene changed the expressions of all the people present. On the high platform, Cho looked at Naruto in a red chakra coat. With a little gloat on her face, she said, Is that Kanaha Kyo by Jinchuriki? I didn't expect that Kanaha mastered to use the power of Jinchuriki, but there must be some risk mastering it. After speaking, Cho continued self-consciously, That's right. The Kyuubai rampage back then made Kanaha suffer heavy losses. Saratobi ignored Chiyo's ridicule but immediately called the Anbu behind him and said in a deep voice, Go, let the seal squad dispatch and prevent this battle from continuing. Find out what happened to the Kyuubai seal. Saratobi believes that Naruto cannot use the Kyuubai's power, so any accidents must not happen. If it was only one tail, Saratobi thought that he did not need to be dispatched, and a few ninjas should be able to suppress Naruto. What made Saratobi never thought was that the Anbu he sent out thoroughly angered Naruto. When several Anbu had just stopped the fight and were about to step forward to stop Naruto, the yellow-haired young man suddenly raised his head, his eyes turned gloomy. Grandpa Hokage finally couldn't bear it. Did he want to kill me? But don't I use the Kyuubai's power as he wishes now? Uzumaki Naruto, calm down. Why calm down? Naruto stretched out his palm little by little, looked at the red coat on the palm, and revealed a fierce smile, isn't this power exactly what Grandpa Hokage wants? Now I'm showing it to him. The next moment, the tail behind him suddenly forked. The second red chakra tail appears. Then third. Fourth. Naruto's body was entirely covered by Kyuubai's chakras, and his crimson Baijuyo coat made him no different from half-tailed beast's mode, and even his voice had become the roar of a beast. Roar. The four-tailed Naruto disappeared instantly. Several Anbu ninjas who tried to control him were easily beaten with his claws. There was a commotion on the audience stage throughout the arena. The survivors of the Kyuubai rampage remembered the past. Even if Naruto does not reveal the Kyuubai's complete state, the four-tailed transformation already makes them feel the evil and terror of Kyuubai's chakra. Not good. When Saratobi saw Naruto's state, this old man finally couldn't hold back, and when he was about to rush towards the field in a hurry. However, at this moment, a guard behind Cho suddenly appeared behind Saratobi. The guard stretched out a kunao on Saratobi's throat, revealing a long tongue that licked his kunao, and said with a hoarse voice, Chodano, I didn't expect the timing to be better than we thought, more than perfect. Kanaha collapse plan can be launched. Orochimaru. When Saratobi heard the person's voice behind him, a trace of anger flashed in his eyes, but he suppressed his emotions forcibly and looked at Cho. Chodano should understand the danger of an out-of-control Jinchuriki, even Yusu Nagakur ninjas will not be spared. Saratobi continued in a deep voice, it is very dangerous to start a war rashly, especially in this situation. Hokage Dono, I know what you said. Cho slowly stood up, looked at the violent Naruto, and said softly, although we may die if we start a war. But if we don't start a war now, Sunagakur will still die. A group of puppets suddenly appeared around Cho and she coldly said to her subordinates, released the signal flare and told them that the plan will start ahead of schedule. The war has begun. Yes, Chosama. A group of red flares flew into the air. Cho turned around to look at Orochimaru, who held Saratobi and said in a deep voice, according to our agreement, Orochimaru Dano, you are responsible for solving Kanaha's highest combat power, right? Of course. Orochimaru chuckles. My most important purpose is to give my sensei the last ride. The audience's stand suddenly became a mess. With the attack of Cho and Orochimaru, the Sunagakur ninjas also immediately began to attack Kanahagakur ninjas. Unprepared, 
Kanaha Ninja suffered severe damage for a while. On the ground, the four-tailed Naruto was still raging, and for a while, Kanaha really showed a tendency to collapse. Haku hiding in a corner, watching the fighting erupting everywhere, couldn't help asking, Uehara, what should we do now? Who should we help? Let's watch the play first. Uehara looked at the chaotic arena, then saw that his main mission progress had increased from 17% to 20%, and whispered softly, as a true villain, you have to wait until the end to enter the play. Chapter 142, For the Greater Good The war situation often changes quickly. Initially, the Suna Ninja had the advantage when launching the attack, and the Kanaha Ninja on the field was once at a disadvantage. Even the Suna Ninja's ambush troop outside the village broke through the Kanaha defense line and invaded. Kanaha's highest combat power Saratobi Hiruzen and Orochimaru, were imprisoned by the infiltrated Odin and using Shishi Engine, for Violet Flames formation, and the battle between the Master and Apprentice also broke out. However, as the strongest ninja village in the ninja world, Kanaha's foundation was not something these people could contend with. Under the group of ninjas' leadership, the Kanaha ninjas successfully launched a counterattack. In the Chunin exam arena, the arrival of two people changed the situation. Kakashi and Suzuki finally ended their training and rushed to the Chunin exam arena to see a raging Kyubai. Wincho, who was assisting the Suna ninja, saw Kakashi. She immediately abandoned her enemy and manipulated her puppet to rush towards Kakashi. Kanaha's white fang, the enemy she hates the most. Kakashi's face remained unchanged while facing Cho, and he deployed the combat power in his side, Guy, don't waste your time fighting, immediately go and help control Naruto. Lee and Suzuki, the two of you will rescue the people below the arena and fight against the Suna Genin. Sakura and the rest will assist the audience evacuation and ask the Hayaga clan head for help in protecting the audience. Genma, Raid, Aoba don't waste time trying to crack the Shishi engine, for Violet Flames formation, immediately lead other ninja guards to launch a counterattack, and send people to the Anbu base to request reinforcements. Yes. Understand. Leave it to me. Hachiman, 8 gate, open. Since Kakashi's arrival, everything has been proceeding in an orderly manner. When he was willing to take responsibility, he seemed to have convincing power. This action also surprised Uehara. The situation, which had initially been more severe and dangerous than in anime, was stabilized under Kakashi's command, and it only took a while to solve the crisis. After Kanaha's reinforcements arrive, everyone can almost foresee Sunagakura and Orochimaru's end. The only thing that did not change was that the third Hagake was still unable to escape the cage. Within the Four Violet Flames formation, Orochimaru uses the Impure World Reincarnation to summon the first Hokage Senju Hashirama and the second Hokage Senju Tobirama, directly putting Hiruzen at a disadvantage. However, outside the Four Violet Flames formation, the Kanaha ninjas have gradually begun to take advantage. The battle between Kakashi and Cho was also heating up, and the winner could not be distinguished for a while, but the others had achieved good results. The only trouble was the battle between Guy and Four-Tailed Naruto. Seriously. Guy was really at a disadvantage. He estimated that it would be easier for him to kill the four-tail Kyuubai than control it. But soon, Guy won't be troubled. Because Suzuki and Lee were fighting against Gara and finally stimulated to force him to use the power hidden in his body. Tanuki Niri no Jutsu. Feigning sleep technique. Gara's eyes closed instantly. A behemoth slowly sprang out from his body. Shikaku finally appears, Roar, I have finally come out. Just as the Suna ninjas thought that Shikaku was their reinforcement, the first thing this fat Baijuyu did when he came out was to open his mouth and release an air bullet to hit the four-tailed Naruto, I just came out, and I can smell that stinky fox. Guy was a little confused for a while. He didn't know which Baijuyu he should attack, hey, Kakashi, which one is our own? Neither. Kakashi avoided Chiyo's puppet attack and said loudly, no, Naruto is our companion. As long as you don't kill Naruto, you can attack whatever you want. I believe you can solve it, Guy. To be honest, Kanaha seems to be lucky. Who could have imagined that the first thing that happened to help Kanaha attack the out-of-control Kyuubai Jinchuriki was Sunagakura's ultimate weapon Shikaku? This kind of luck really has no place to reason. Uehara sighed faintly and started to come out in the audience. He stretched out his palm and whispered, It's time to get out. Sakura, Tenten, Ino, Hinata and other orderly girls, looked at Uehara in surprise. Sakura showed a trace of joy and couldn't help but ask, Hey? Uehara-senpai, 
are you here to help too? We have many wounded here. Help your sister. Just seeing you makes me angry. Uehara glanced at Sakura speechlessly. When Uehara just appeared in the audience, a figure in a hood walked up to him and handed him a scroll. With this scroll, Uehara has the possibility of doing things in the Chunin exam. Uehara looked at Kabuto hidden under his hood and whispered softly, You guide Kimimaro and Haku out of Kanaha first. I will solve the problem here. Yes, my lord. Kabuto jumped out of the auditorium. As the hooded man left, Kanaha's newcomers gradually looked at Uehara. Sakura, Tenten, and Hinata could not help showing a trace of worry in their eyes. They were afraid that this friendly senpai was also an enemy. As an elder, Hayaga Hayashi had already recognized the facts. He quickly solved the attacking Suna ninjas and flew in front of these newcomers. Hayashi waved his hand and signaled these little guys to leave immediately, then slowly raised his head to look at Uehara and said, Are you a friend or an enemy? I am a friend and an enemy. Uehara chuckled and raised the scroll in his hand. He appeared behind Hayashi and whispered, I want to be a kind person too, but other people in Kanaha don't want me to. Hakish Kaden. Eight trigrams palms revolving heaven. Hayashi's movements were extremely fast. A group of high-speed rotating chakra airflow appeared beside him and made Uehara fly out. Uehara paid no attention at all and slowly put away the scroll, patted the dust on his body, and slowly said, Well, as expected to the Hayaga clan head, the palm speed is really fast. But have you ever heard of da 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 What? Hayashi frowned his brows. Uehara's figure disappeared instantly and appeared behind Hayashi. He said loudly, this is it. Countless fist shadows flew up. Hayashi was horrified by Uehara's speed. The technique he used was similar to body flicker, and countless fists fell on him. The contemporary clan head of the Hayaga clan can only barely stretch out his palms to resist one or two blows, but Uehara's fist still knocked him to the ground. Father. Hinata and his sister, Hayaga Hanabi, watched this scene in a panic. Just when they wanted to rush over, a figure stopped them. It was Niji who was nearly killed by Naruto just now. You guys go. Niji looked at the lying Hayashi with a complicated expression, but he still yelled at the two sisters in a cold voice, that guy is not something you two can handle. Niji and I san Hurry up. Niji was obviously impatient. Uehara didn't chase them but looked at Niji slowly and asked, I heard your rumor, so I didn't expect you to protect the two of them. Why? No longer hate your clan. Hey. What's up with you? Niji frowned displeasedly. Bang. Uehara wanted kicked Niji. However, Hayashi on the ground suddenly got up and blocked Uehara's attack using his lower abdomen. Hayashi hugged Uehara's calf tightly, took out a letter, and threw it to Niji while saying loudly, This is the letter your father left for you, hurry. Go and protect Hinata and Hanabi. Niji gritted his teeth. The Hayaga genius born in the Hayaga clan branch grabbed the letter with doubts and chased Hinata and Hanabi. Do you really want me to kill you? Uehara stared at Hayashi, who stood in front of him. He shook his head and sighed regretfully. He took advantage of his strength to jump into the air, and the other leg then kicked Hayashi on his neck. He then fell to the ground from the high auditorium. Bang! The two sisters and Niji, who happened to be leaving the auditorium, were startled by the falling body from the sky. Niji gritted his teeth, pushed them to another direction, and said in a deep voice, You two, escape quickly. I will take the clan head to the hospital. But. No but. Niji interrupted Hinata and shook his head gently at her, he said, Hinata-sama, Hanabi-sama is still young, and you are her sister, you must calm her. The clan head leaves it to me. I see. Hinata covered her sister's eyes and took her out of here. Niji leaned over against the dying Hayashi and quickly ran to Kanaha Hospital carrying him. Hayashi firmly grasped Niji's shoulder and whispered. Niji, the Hayaga clan reputation and future depends on you. Clan head. Niji lowered his head slowly. Hayashi lowered his head and said in a low voice, Niji, I know my injury. Even if I live, I cannot fight again as a ninja. Niji still rushed towards the hospital, please don't say such words. Hinata-sama and Hanabi-sama are still very young. Hayashi stayed silent for a while and whispered, If I can survive, I will engrave myself the caged bird cursed seal. The Hayaga clan head was very aware of his injuries, and he didn't know how many bones he had broken. Even if he survived, 
he would not have any fighting ability. In this way, his eyes can be taken away. As a father, he can live for Hinata and Hanabi's sake, as the clan head, he must also engrave himself with a protective caged bird cursed seal to protect the Haiga clan bloodline. Is this karma? In the auditorium. Many people have seen all this with their own eyes. Lee, who had just left the area, stood in front of Uehara. The chakra on him began to explode little by little, Uehara Senpai, why are you doing this? Are you not our friend? Sorry, Lee. Uehara sighed and slowly clenched his fist, for the greater good, I must kill third Hokage-sama. After all of this is over, you will understand me. Chapter 143, Killing Denzo Yesterday, Killing Saratobi Today Lee's mind was a mess. Just when Uehara thought he would have another hearty battle, Lee suddenly gritted his teeth and cowed out, Uehara-senpai, I don't want to hurt you, please stop. Why did this guy kowtow? Uehara was silent for a while, then suddenly said, Lee, we all do this for our villages. You should know that I cannot retreat anymore. Uehara looked at Lee, who bowed his head and sobbed. He softly persuaded, Lee, stand up. I know that you can use that forbidden technique again, so let's fight for our village so that we can be worthy of our position as a ninja. Uehara glanced at one of his side missions and thundered, Lee, if you hold back. I will think that you are looking down on me. Stand up. Stand up now, or I will look down on you. Lee slowly raised his head and gritted his teeth. Chakra burst out on his body, and his momentum instantly blew away the audience seats, sorry Uehara Senpai, I will do as you wish, fifth gate, open. When Lee opened the eighth gate this time, he had sufficient preparation and training, which meant it was much better than a month ago. At least now, his body was able to withstand the backlash. It's a pity that Lee could only open up to the fifth gate. If he could open the sixth gate, he may be able to make Uehara a little bit serious. But right now, it was not enough. Kanahusen. Leaf Whirlwind. A strong kick suddenly hit Uehara. Uehara closed his arms and turned on the spike defense. An orange grid-shaped dome covered him, and he allowed Lee to kick it. A huge counter-shock force caused Lee to fly out involuntarily. Uehara's mouth hooked up. He flew up and slammed his arm against Lee. He took advantage of the counter-shock force to knock Lee's body further. Lee flew away, destroying half of the auditorium. Lee in fifth gate state only had an upper-level ninja's strength, facing Uehara. There was no room for victory. Sorry, Lee. After Uehara defeated Lee with two attacks, he rushed in the four violet flames formation direction. If he did not hurry, the third Hokage and Orochimaru might die together. Side mission. Defeat Hachiman, 8 Gate, Rock Lee, 1 Slash 1. Reward, Strong Wrist. Strong Wrist, increase the power and attack speed of your right hand with Chakra. The power is proportional to the amount of Chakra used with a minimum of 100 points. Cool down, 1 second. Uehara didn't know what to say. Why call this skill Strong Wrist? Just call it single for 20 years. What's more, he could already use Chakra to improve his power. It was just not as precise as this skill. Uehara flew into the sky above the four violet flames formation. He waved his right arm and slammed down towards the four violet flames formation while using his new skill. Crack. A crack appeared on the four violet flames formation. The next moment, the entire four violet flames formation burst open. The four Odin vomited blood because of the four violet flames formation's forceful destruction. Orochimaru raised his head vigilantly looking at the young aim ninja who had broken the four violet flames formation with a punch, and gritted his teeth bitterly, Uehara Nariku, you bastard. The first Hokage Senju Hashirama and the second Hokage Senju Tobirama, which Orochimaru controls, were still beating Hiruzen. Just when the third Hokage was about to fall, Uehara again came to disrupt his plan. Orochimaru, I'm here to help you. Uehara slowly lowered his head and looked at Orochimaru, he said, Someone paid a very high price, so let me help you kill the third Hokage. I do not need it. Orochimaru shook his head, he pointed at Saratobi, who could not fight back, and said coldly, Don't you see that I am about to kill him? This is not a question of if you want it or not. Uehara looked at Orochimaru and calmly said, Orochimaru, you should understand what I mean. No one dares refuse my help. Orochimaru. If it weren't for this critical juncture, 
Orochimaru really wanted to use the first and second Hokage Impure World puppets to teach Uehara a lesson. It's a pity that he was afraid of encountering the same thing four years ago. If Uehara summoned the giant shark that could devour souls again, wouldn't he be at a loss again? Orochimaru bit his lip bitterly and said coldly, Uehara Nariku, let's be honest, what do you want to do? You can't understand what I'm saying. After Uehara frowned, he looked down at Saratobi, who was trying desperately in the distance, and his body instantly disappeared. In the next moment, Uehara's figure appeared behind Saratobi, and a chakra broadsword appeared in his hand. This sword suddenly penetrated Saratobi's chest. However, this old man, who was in his twilight years, was very sensitive. No, he did not dodge the attack. Instead, the henge, Kong Yui, transformation, Adamantan staff, that he was holding blocked Uehara's attack. Your Excellency does not seem to make any sense. Hiruzen looked at Uehara and frowned tightly. He said in a deep voice, These past couple of days, I thought you would be Kanaha's friend. Sorry, Hokage-sama. Uehara sighed and said in a low voice, Since Hokage-sama is dying, I will tell you. It's because Shimura Danzo from your village has given us something that Omega Kure cannot refuse. Danzo. Hiruzen's face suddenly turned dark, and he thought of his old friend's style. Many years ago, Danzo began to covet the Hokage's position. Now, that shameless thing attracted Sunagakure, Orochimaru and Omega Kure to take action jointly to launch the Kanaha's collapse plan to assassinate him, the Hokage. He finally betrayed his village for his own benefit. But now was not the time to think about this. Hiruzen must first stabilize the enemy. He dodged the double team of the first and second Hokage and persuaded Uehara, don't you know that Danzo was missing or even killed last night? While talking, Hiruzen stretched out the adamantan staff to sweep and temporarily forced the two Senjua back. However, taking advantage of this opportunity, Uehara once again appeared behind Saratobi, the chakra broadsword in his hand successfully pierced Saratobi's chest. The four violet flames formation was broken, so Uehara has no time to waste. Of course, I know that Danzo is dead. Uehara leaned over Hiruzen's head and whispered, Hush, don't tell anyone that I killed him last night. Hiruzen turned his head to look at Uehara with a shocked face, and blood began to flow down from the corner of his mouth. Hiruzen's eyes were a little puzzled, and he asked word by word, Then what is your purpose in doing this? I just want to kill you. Uehara stood behind Hiruzen, smiling lightly, and said, For the greater good, Omega Kure cannot be Kanaha's enemy for the time being. I have to find a reason to kill you, so Kanaha will not hold me accountable. You. Okay, Danzo has not been dead for that long, so you can go find him with peace of mind. Uehara suddenly drew out his purple broadsword. Looking at the blood on Hiruzen's chest, he whispered, By the way, don't say any stupid things about the will of fire. I have specially prepared a big gift for you. Hiruzen's protruding eyes looked at Uehara fiercely. However, in such a severely injured state, Saratobi could no longer fight back and was even unable to speak. So he could only stare at Uehara with hatred. After a while, his palm gradually loosened, and there were no sounds anymore. This person held Kanaha power for more than 40 years. He brought Kanaha to the peak with one hand and then watched Kanaha fall from the peak before dying. The adamantan staff trembled on the ground, an eye was revealed and glared fiercely at the murderer Uehara before it turned into a cloud of smoke. Others didn't know what Uehara said, but he heard it clearly. However, a fist with white light slammed on the adamantan staff. This adamantan staff, which claimed to be indestructible, broke into pieces and turned into debris. Uehara glanced at the broken adamantan staff and snorted coldly, I won't even let go of a dog, let alone a monkey. Advanced Mission 5, Kill 5 Cages, 2 Fifths Reward, unknown. Side mission, defeat the third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen, 1 slash 1. Reward, skill synthesis. This was complicated. The skill synthesis function was basically a lottery. Uehara glanced at the system panel roughly. The synthesis function can fuse three skills or summoning contracts and create a random skill. Side mission, defeat the summoned beast monkey king, Inma, 1 slash 1. Reward, Wukung the monkey king. Volcanic Wukong, Summoning Contract Summoning Contract, Summons Wukong the Monkey King, Volcanic Wukong Consumes 3000 Chakra Uehara frowned, somewhat unable to understand, a summon with skin? 
so was it strong? Maybe he could try this when he captured the foretailed by Jiyu in the future? Uehara, what is your purpose? Orochimaru controlled Hashirama and Tobirama to stand apart, in case Uehara summoned the shark that could swallow souls. If something goes wrong, he could at least retain some combat power. Do you really not understand human words? I am not here to target you. Uehara shook his head. Why would he target Orochimaru now? He has already inserted the spy Kabuto at Orochimaru's side, and he was waiting for Orochimaru to start fighting Black Zetsu to obtain White Zetsu. Why would he weaken Orochimaru's strength? One of the reasons Uehara killed the third Hokage was that he was worried that the third Hokage's dying counterattack would hit Orochimaru. After fighting Orochimaru for so long, he could be a good man now. Uehara turned his head and looked at Orochimaru. He said, leave here. Or, do you want to take the corpse of the third Hokage and reincarnate it? Ho ho ho, how come? Orochimaru smiled and licked his lips. He said softly, he was my sensei. Why would I be disrespectful to him? I just wanted to kill him and let Danzo become Hokage. Initially, Kanaha's collapse plan's purpose was to kill the third Hokage while Kanaha's other suitable candidates were away so that Danzo could become Hokage. In this way, Danzo could secretly use all of Kanaha's resources to support Orochimaru's research. Now his goal had been achieved. Orochimaru has no reason to stay here and intended to betray his ally, the Sunagakur, by leaving Kanaha directly. Uehara glanced at Orochimaru weirdly and said softly, Did you not hear what I said to the Hokage? What? It's nothing. Uehara glanced at Orochimaru with a weird look. This guy had a very strong psychological quality, and he should not collapse when he learns about Danzo's disappearance. The Kanaha ninjas in the distance gathered around, obviously not planning to let go of the two murderers who killed the third Hokage. There was a cold light in Orochimaru's eyes directing the four Odinan and the two Senju to fly into the air and flee the scene. Uehara seemed to have thought of something and shouted, Wait, Orochimaru, you haven't given me what you owe me. Uehara almost forgot, Orochimaru, this guy has not given him the impure world reincarnation technique scroll. Narakukun. Orochimaru chuckled in the air and shook his head. He then replied, Next time, I can show you how to swallow a thousand scrolls. As for now, you should ask for more luck. Uehara sighed, Orochimaru didn't even know that he and Danzo would be blamed for killing the third Hokage. As for Uehara himself, he was just an innocent and deceived aim ninja. Even if Kanaha wanted to blame him, he still had to see if they had the strength. Therefore, even if Uehara wants to use Oscar-level acting, he must first fight. If not, after Uehara defeated everyone, he could blame Danzo for deceiving Omega Kure. Whoever has the bigger fist was right. Whoever had good acting skills would have a good reason. Chapter 144, Kanaha Has Fallen Into Darkness I don't intend to be an enemy of Kanaha. After Uehara said this, he faintly felt that something was wrong. The third Hokage's body was still lying next to him, and he felt embarrassed to say this. One of the ninjas wearing a mask cursed coldly, you collaborate with Orochimaru to kill Hokage-sama. Do you still want to deceive us? Kill him, avenge Hokage-sama. The Kanaha ninjas suddenly became angry. Uehara could only make a helpless move punching the Kanaha ninja, on one hand for the Dark Harvest benefits, on the other hand, quietly waiting for an opportunity. In fact, he was waiting for an opportunity to act. After all, this was just a group of Anbu and ordinary ninjas, and if he let someone snatch the Book of Alliance scroll hidden in his hand as soon as they met, which was really a bit fake. After waiting for a while, find a chance to reveal a flaw, and logically someone snatches the scroll. That was when his acting broke out. This opportunity was hard won. Soon someone attacked Uehara's side, kicked him, and a scroll fell as Uehara flew out. Uehara's face changed drastically, and when he was about to rush over as soon as he stood up. It was too late. An Anbu had already snatched the scroll and saw the words Book of Alliance on it. Not good. Uehara rushed to the Anbu with all of his power, but it seemed that he couldn't break through the defenses, so he could only watch the Anbu holding the scroll find his boss. The Anbu who was in charge of besieging Uehara commanded loudly, Stop him, what this guy desperately wants to get must be important information. Uehara showed helplessness and finally began to desperately try to be tough. At the same time, the overall situation in the arena has gradually changed. Although the third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen had been killed in battle and Kanaha lost their leader, but Tsunagakur's hope was unreliable. 
Shikaku and the four-tailed Naruto were in a violent fight, and Guy also added chaos at the side from time to time. Since the Suna ninjas could not get the support of their Baijuu, so their ambush and reinforcements were repelled one after another. And with Orochimaru's retreat, the Suna ninjas could no longer hold it. Cho had no choice but to let Kakashi go for a while, so she could order them to find a way to recover Shikaku and retreat immediately. As for Cho herself, she has no plans to leave alive. She plans to use her life to stay here and kill Kakashi. It was a pity that one person's presence made the Suna ninjas present completely desperate. Jiraiya, one of Kanaha's sonin, also rushed back to Kanaha. After defeating the Suna ninjas from the outer side of the village, he surrounded the entire arena with reinforcements. Seal the Kyuubai first. The first thing Jiraiya did was to seal the runaway Kyuubai. After all, the Suna ninjas are just turtles in the urn, and once the Kyuubai makes a mistake, it will be a devastating disaster for Kanaha. Of course, before sealing the Kyuubai, it must be first suppressed. Kukiyos, Yatai Kyuzashi no Jutsu. Summoning, Food Cart Destroyer Technique. After Jiraiya quickly closed his hands and knotted the hand seal, a toad carrying a giant ninja sword fell from the sky, sitting on Shikaku and crushing it to the ground. It was Mount Mayaboku's toad. Even if Shikaku screamed and wanted to escape, he couldn't escape the toad restraint for the time being. This temporarily stabilized the situation and gave Jiraiya time to control the Kyuubai. Dodon, Yomi Numa. Earth Release, Swamp of the Underworld. Jiraiya quickly closed his hands again to not hand seal, and a giant swamp appeared below the four-tailed Naruto. Then the hair around him stretched out and entangled Naruto's body, Ranjishigami no Jutsu. Wild Lion's Main Technique The four-tailed Naruto couldn't move immediately. Just when Jiraiya was cautiously planning to step forward to impose a seal, the Wild Lion's Main Technique fell apart in an instant. Another tail appears behind the original four-tailed Naruto. And this tail was increasing more and more. Five tails. Six tails. Seven tails. Eight tail. Is it too late? Jiraiya's eyes changed slightly. Now that there were more and more Kyuubai chakras in Naruto's body, if this continues, there was no way to simply apply the seal. Just when Jiraiya was a little desperate and planning to seal it to death, the Kyuubai chakra on Naruto suddenly began to fade away. It's incredible. It was like Kyuubai wanted to come out, and suddenly he has sealed again. Within the sealed space. When Naruto groggily wanted to tear off the seal, an arm grabbed his hand and a gentle voice fell into Naruto's ears, Naruto, do you really want to release this seal? Then what can I do? Naruto slowly turned his head and saw a blonde ninja. His eyes flashed, you are. The blonde ninja's eyes curled with a smile like a little sun, if there is nothing wrong, I should be your father. It was the fourth Hokage no Mikaze Minato. After seeing Naruto, Minato didn't hide anything but simply talked about the Kyuubai rampage before Naruto's birth, when you were born. A mysterious masked man attacked your mother. The mysterious masked man was Uchiha Obito. Naruto directly revealed the secret, and he even added, it was Grandpa Hokage who instructed Uchiha Obito to attack the both of you. He wants to regain his power. Minato was speechless. After a while, Minato frowned his brows and immediately said, impossible, Sandame sama is not a person greedy for power, wait, Obito was the one who attacked us, which is even more impossible. Obito is such a kind person. At the beginning, I also thought that Grandpa Hokage was very kind. Naruto interrupted Minato's words again and whispered, the Kyuubai's previous container should be mother, right? Grandpa Hokage wants to use the power of Kyuubai, but he can't do this, so he ordered Obito to harm you. Naruto opened his mouth again and continued to add, one more thing, Obito is already an S-class trader in the village. But... Minato's brows were frowning tighter and tighter. He couldn't say anything anymore. Now it seems that if Obito has become an S-class trader, it means that he was strong and did serious harm to the village, and this fact cannot be shaken off. Hiruzen does not seem to be a power-hungry person. But... The facts were undeniable when you thought about it carefully. Minato suddenly remembered the reason why he became the fourth Hokage that year. It was because the third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen was forced to abdicate due to a misstep in the Third Ninja World War. However, Hiruzen did not choose Orochimaru or Danzo but chose his disciple student. Since then, the third Hokage still assisted Kanaha as a consultant, and Minato followed his guidance. I also think that Grandpa Hokage is the only person in the village who takes good care of me. Naruto's face was ugly, and he whispered, 
but the truth is, he kept everyone in the village from contacting me so that he could take care of me and visit me from time to time because he wanted me to rely on him. Yandame. The Kyuubai in the cage showed his sharp teeth. Looking at the father and son outside the gate, he laughed loudly and said, This kid secretly heard it all. In Yandame's eye, this village should be kind, but the truth is this village is so dark. Minato was too lazy to pay attention to Kyuubai, but he held his son's shoulders and quickly told his son, Naruto, go find Jiraiya sensei. He is my sensei and the only person I can trust. Go find him, tell him your life experience, he will find out the truth. If Kanaha falls into the darkness, Jiraiya sensei will definitely not sit idly by. Is it Aero Senen? The darkness in Naruto's body gradually faded, and he thought of the white-haired old man, isn't he that super old pervert? Uh, don't pay attention to these. Minato's face was a little embarrassed. He touched his son's head and whispered, Your name comes from his book. Jiraiya sensei is the most just ninja. After leaving here, you immediately went to find him. Yes, I understand. Naruto's figure quietly disappeared. When Naruto left the sealed space, Minato's figure gradually disappeared. He was, after all, already dead, so he could only hope for his teacher. Faith was always unpredictable. When Naruto woke up, the first thing he saw was Jiraiya, the white-haired man who tore open his clothes with a worried expression checking the seal of Kyuubai. Aero Senen. Naruto suddenly hugged Jiraiya, and tears slowly flowed down his cheeks, Dad asked me to come to you. He said Kanaha had fallen into darkness. Only by finding you can you change this. What? Jiraiya was also speechless. When did Kanaha fall into darkness? And what happened to Naruto's father? Chapter 145, Call Me Actor Uehara Kanaha fell into the darkness. When Naruto had finished telling everything, Jiraiya's face became more solemn, and even Jiraiya himself had seen a lot of darkness. However, Hiruzen instigated the Kyuubai rampage. This news was too shocking. If you ignore it, it will cause chaos in Kanaha. Jiraiya also waved to Kanaha Anbu and asked in a deep voice, Where is the old man now? Hokage-sama has been killed. An Anbu leader rushed over quickly. The first sentence made Jiraiya's face change again. What was the situation today? After the Anbu finished speaking, he handed over a scroll, Jiraiya-sama, Hokage-sama murderer, has been surrounded by us. We grabbed this from him. Please take care of it. Fortunately, Jiraiya's prestige was high enough. Otherwise, this Anbu doesn't know what he will do. After all, the information on the scroll was too shocking. Jiraiya checked if the situation had stabilized, only then did he slowly open the scroll with the words Book of Alliance and look at it carefully. The amount of information in this was a bit big. Danzo secretly reached an alliance with Omega Kure, even including Hanzo's recognition as a cage, supporting the country of rain invasion and occupation of the country of grass, supporting Omega Kure to clean up the Akatsuki organization. As for why he did this, this reason was readily available, and it has already happened. If Danzo did not sign this alliance letter, why would AIM risk a war to assassinate the third Hokage? But is this really fits Danzo's temperament? Didn't that guy keep shouting for Kanaha? How could he sign this kind of alliance letter? Jiraiya also frowned. When he was a little skeptical, Kakashi finally tried his best to defeat Cho and came to Jiraiya. After coming over, Kakashi nailed Danzo's crime in one sentence, soon a ninja high-level staff Beki has confessed that it was Danzo and Orochimaru who invited them to participate in the Kanaha collapse plan. The mission from the country of wind will be returned to Sunagakura in exchange for their cooperation. After speaking, Kakashi added, By the way, Jiraiya-sama, there is another news that there was a fierce fight at the root base last night. Danzo is suspected to be missing or killed, and the murderer may be Itachi or Obito. I also have a message here. Jiraiya's expression was a little ugly. He raised his head and said, Twelve years ago, Uchiha Obito was probably instigated by our Hokage-sama to start the Kyuubai rampage. Kakashi, it is said that you are also one of the insiders who know this. Kakashi. Why would Jiraiya know this? Naruto also told this news to Jiraiya. The information Naruto overheard last night was too much, and he told Jiraiya all of it. In the face of the person whom his father promised that can be trusted, Naruto would not be suspicious. Jiraiya had just heard the news that Naruto had brought in, and he didn't believe it entirely, but seeing Kakashi's expression, it was evident that Jiraiya had an answer in his heart. 
the Hokage position is really a big trouble. Jiraiya also rubbed his forehead and said in a deep voice, I won't say anything in advance because the two old men are already dead, but they have left us with so many problems. Kakashi nodded, then said softly, now the Suna ninjas who attacked the village have been controlled, the leading Cho has also been arrested, and the violent Jinchuriki has also been stopped. It seems that only the aim boy who assassinated the old man is left. Jiraiya also stood up slowly, looking at Uehara, who was still fighting around in the distance. He said in a deep voice, I remember that kid had a good relationship with Kanaha before. Send someone to tell him, Shimura Danzo is already dead, and his battle has lost its meaning. Then let me and Guy go. Kakashi drew out a kunao and whispered, I have a good relationship with Uehara. Please let me try to persuade him to surrender, but he killed the third Hokage-sama. What should we do with him? First, control him and contact Omega Kure for negotiation. Jiraiya hadn't really taken Uehara's problem to his heart. On the rooftop of the Chunin exam arena. Uehara has already defeated wave after wave of Kanaha ninjas, his dark harvest reaping was so fast, and in a blink of an eye, his stats have increased by 4 to 500 points. Kakashi and Guy flew to the rooftop and stopped the Anbu ninja besieging Uehara, lest they were innocently affected. After everyone had retreated, Kakashi persuaded Uehara, put down your weapons, Uehara, you have already lost. And we also saw Omega Kure and Shimura Danzo privately made Book of Alliance. But Shimura Danzo died last night, so the Book of Alliance is invalid. Dead? Shimura Danzo is dead. Uehara's face instantly turned a little gloomy. He suddenly grasped the purple chakra broadsword in his hand and aimed it at Kakashi. Uehara's lips trembled, and his voice gradually became agitated, I have reported this good news to Hanzo-sama in advance, and now you are telling me that the Alliance book is invalid. How can I explain this to Hanzo-sama? Uehara squeezed his hand tightly, and his arm gradually began trembling, Kakashi, I came to Kanaha to take the Chunin exam, just to tell everyone that Omega Kure cannot be bullied. To make Omega Kure stronger and for the country of rain to survive among your great nations, so I did not hesitate to betray my conscience and made an agreement with Shimura Danzo. Now you are telling me that the Book of Alliance is invalid. I won't accept it. I will never accept it. Hitaki Kakashi. Shimura Danzo signed that alliance. He promised that he would support us, and Kanaha would support us. He promised me. The words and expressions he made in the past few minutes made Uehara think that he might never again have such a realistic performance in his life. In these few minutes, the AIM ninja image, who expects his hometown to become strong, was on the verge of collapse. Uehara felt that he might not be able to suppress the laughter in his throat, so he looked up to the sky and laughed wildly, ha 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 ha, Kakashi, how can the alliance signed by your Kanaha executives be invalid? Are you joking with me? The smile on Uehara's face gradually became a little horrible, Kakashi, we are friends, Guy, we are also friends. Are you two fooling me? I just got it today that Book of Alliance. For this reason, I violated my conscience and assassinated an elder, and now you told me that it is invalid. Kakashi and Guy fell silent. They fully understood Uehara's collapse and even felt a little regretful. This was a genius ninja, not only powerful but also good at medical ninjutsu. During the month when Uehara was in Kanaha, they saw Uehara always polite and kind to everyone. Now Uehara's face was full of crazy smiles. Uehara, calm down. For a while, Kakashi was even a little ashamed that he suspected that Uehara's kind personality was a kind of disguise. He slowly stretched out his hand to signal Uehara to calm down for the time being. Kakashi continued to persuade, you have to calm down first, this matter is impossible to reverse and Danzo very likely deceived you. Yes, Naraku Kitaharadano. Guy's face was a bit serious and followed up Kakashi's persuasion, calm down first, everything can be discussed. Although the Book of Alliance is invalid, Kanaha and Aim are still friendly allies. Ha ha ha. Uehara raised his hand and smiled coolly, Shimura Danzo deceived me? Who am I? Do you know what an Aim ninja like me will pay in deceiving Hanzo-sama? It will be my death for him to calm down. When Uehara said these words, he even felt that Hanzo right now was still alive. He gritted his teeth and continued, My sensei and my elders will also be implicated because of this incident. You know they treat me well, so it doesn't make sense for them to be implicated. I can understand how you feel. Kakashi sighed. Danzo was really a big pit. Whoever jumps will be in big trouble. 
When Kakashi was still young, Danzo lured him to assassinate Hiruzen. Sandame should execute Danzo for it. Otherwise, such a big tragedy would not happen today. Even Hiruzen himself was killed by the enemy, who Danzo lured. Uehara squeezed the purple chakra broadsword in his hand and gradually revealed a touch of madness, Kakashi-san, Gai-san, the Book of Alliance must not be invalidated, I will definitely not accept it. Uehara slammed the chakra broadsword in his hand, if Kanaha doesn't admit it, then I will use my power to get the things from the Boo of Alliance. Kakashi reluctantly pulled out his kunao and sighed softly, forget it, let's grab him first. Guy, be careful Uehara is not easy to deal with. Kakashi, don't we have room for relaxation? Guy tightened the bandage on his hand little by little and said solemnly, it would be a shame to fight Lee's savior. After we catch him, let's find a way for him. Kakashi rushed towards Uehara, Uehara's mental state is not right. We can only take him down first. For Kanaha, calming the chaos is the most important thing. Kakashi, do you think you can defeat me? Uehara swung the purple chakra broadsword and fought with Kakashi. His voice gradually became a little hoarse, now I will use your life in exchange for Kanaha to accept the Book of Alliance. Kakashi looked helpless. Does this mental breakdown guy look at the situation? The whole Kanaha situation has calmed down. All the enemies either fled, surrendered, or were captured, and only one AIM ninja was left. What storm could it cause? However, some people have expectations of Uehara. In a corner. After Kabuto sent away Kimimaro and Haku, he quietly returned here. He looked at the crazy Uehara on the roof of the high platform and couldn't help sighing quietly. Narakusama, is really acting hard. Chapter 146, Hijack when Kakashi and Uehara clash, Kakashi immediately finds Uehara's flaw, this guy's kenjutsu is very poor, it's my chance. Kakashi was waving his kunao and was about to take advantage of the kenjutsu flaw Uehara revealed and directly stepped forward to try to control Uehara with one move. However, Uehara slammed the purple chakra broadsword into the ground and began to form a hand seal quickly with both hands releasing a defense enhancement, spirit refuge. This barrier directly protected Uehara. Even if Kakashi and Guy attacked desperately, the barrier completely blocked them. They could only helplessly look at Uehara, who continued to form a hand seal in the barrier. After two seconds, the barrier collapsed, and also Uehara completed the hand seal. Raiden, slicing maelstrom. A thundercloud storm formed on top of Uehara's head with a stern cry, and lightning swam in it, attacking Kakashi and Guy. But Kakashi and Guy were faster. Compared with the other ninjas Uehara encountered, their fighting instinct drove them to easily avoid the first lightning strike. It's just that Kakashi was a little daunted. What's the matter with the lightning jutsu of Uehara? He remembers that this lightning ninjutsu was not knotted like this, right? As a ninja who had personally seen Uehara's ninjutsu, Kakashi clearly remembered the messy hand seal gestures. It was a pity that it was too late to think about this. Kakashi hurriedly taught Guy how to guard against this kind of attack speed intensive lightning ninjutsu, Guy, don't stay in a position for more than 0.5 seconds. Okay. Guy nodded quickly. Many ninjas were caught off guard in the past. After evading the first lightning attack, they would be hit by the second lightning. Once hit, they would never escape the countless remaining bolts of lightning. So every lightning strike must be avoided. Soon. Uehara's slicing maelstrom using a few hundred chakra points ended. He originally wanted to use this to test Kakashi and Guy. Dynamiku enter. Dynamic entry. While he was moving fast, Guy took advantage of his strength and made a surprise kick at Uehara. Uehara raised his arms in front of him, activated the spiked defense state, and an orange-yellow grid-shaped defensive cover appeared around him. Obviously, this was the most suitable move in the face against a Teijutsu user. However, Guy suddenly turned around, bypassing Uehara, and forcibly interrupted his attack. Guy on the ground and said in a deep voice, I have been watching your fight with Lee just now. This move will rebound our Teijutsu attacks, right? Oh. Uehara's expression changed, and he suddenly turned to look at Kakashi on the other side. Under the cover of Guy's feint, Kakashi had already completed the hand seal. Katon, Gaki no Jutsu. Fire release. Great fireball technique. A fireball rushed toward Uehara, especially when Kakashi was very close to Uehara. This fireball was almost inevitable, and it was too late to form a hand seal to resist. Uehara gritted his teeth, 
closed his hand abruptly, and shouted in a low voice, Sudden, tidal waves. Huge waves rise to the sky and extinguish the fireball. Dodon, Doryeki. Earth release, earth style wall. The waves rushed towards Kakashi with plenty of energy, but the earth style wall technique he had prepared in advance blocked it. There was a layer of sweat slowly oozing out of Kakashi's nose, and he couldn't help but feel a little alarmed. The last time I met Uehara, he used his eyes to form the seal to use powerful water ninjutsu, can it be done with only a few hand seal now? Fortunately, he still has teammates. After Uehara and Kakashi's ninjutsu duel ended, Guy's Taijutsu attack came again. And when Guy's Taijutsu was unable to make contributions, Kakashi would use Guy as a cover to release ninjutsu. There was no gap between the two of them. Then there's no other way. After closing his hand to form a hand seal, Uehara quickly looked at Guy and whispered, distorted space. Five weird pillars rose from the ground. From these five pillars, a space cage quickly forms around Guy, restraining his movement. Uehara set the time of this cage around 20 seconds. This time was enough for him to defeat Kakashi first. Uehara appeared behind Kakashi in a flash and hit him with a punch. Bang! A piece of rock was torn apart. Kakashi uses Kawarimi. Uehara's figure was erratic and appeared behind Kakashi again. Just as he wanted to continue to attack, Kakashi turned around, holding a kunau. Uehara didn't want to open his Divine Judgment Invincible Defense because he wanted to use it against Guy in 6, 7 or even 8 gate states. Uehara's blood spattered. But his recovery ability was very strong. This point of injury won't hinder him. When Kakashi thought he was successful, Uehara grabbed his hair and hit his face using his knee. Bang! A burst of lightning entered Uehara's body. He doesn't know when Kakashi actually forms a thunder clone. These ninja geniuses were always so insidious when they used various clones. This time, Uehara was caught off guard and suffered a little. You genius ninjas always have some strange tactics. Uehara frowned and inexplicably thought back when Obito suffered to Itachi, and it was his turn to get Kakashi's hand. Can this be tolerated? Uehara quickly closed his hands to form a hand seal, and a small hurricane appeared beside him. The hurricane began to swell instantly, covering the entire rooftop of the high platform in an instant. Futon, howling gale. This was not enough. Uehara suddenly spread his hands, and a wave of waves rolled out from under his feet, and the surging waves flowed into the hurricane. The hurricane engulfed the waves and instantly sucked in Kakashi. This group of hurricane waves moved along a straight line on the arena, instantly destroying a large number of buildings underneath, and everything passing by was destroyed. Uehara breathed a sigh of relief as he watched Kakashi's figure drifting back and forth in the hurricane waves, seeming to have lost any resistance. However, the next moment, Kakashi used the Sharingan under his mask, and the three tomo on it turned crazily into a Manjikyo Sharingan. He actually slowly sucked the hurricane waves into the Kamui space. You can still hold on, Kakashi. Uehara sighed. Kakashi always gave his enemies a little surprise when he was on the verge of defeat. Ha 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 ha. Kakashi panted heavily and landed on the ground. He had almost exhausted the chakra in his body just now to prevent the hurricane and waves from destroying the arena. He rarely used this ability. When Kakashi met Uehara's Uchiha Obito version, he mentioned a question about Sharingan, and Kakashi submissively studied it. Finally, he acquired an ability to absorb. There is almost no chakra in my body. Kakashi knelt on one knee on the ground, pushing up his body and looking at Uehara, who was still very energetic. At this time, Kakashi envies his enemy's chakra. One by one, cards were shot in Kakashi's direction. Kamui. Kakashi approached his limit and overdrawn the chakra in his body, trying to absorb the cards shot at him. Kakashi, are you not yet finished? However, at this moment, Uehara appeared and hit Kakashi's head with a punch, knocking him to the ground. Side mission, defeat Hitaki Kakashi, 1 slash 1. The mission has been completed. Reward, Hidden Inheritance Mission. Hidden Inheritance Mission, once you've seen the truth, you can't keep living the lie. Say a correct name. Kakashi was worthy of being the instructor of Team 7. His reward was huge enough. It's just this line. Uehara frowned and said, Forget it, Silas the Unshackled. The mission has been completed. The legacy of heroes opens. Energized chain, create a chain type chakra weapon that consumes three chakras per second for its existence time. 
Whenever the energized chain is used to restrain or in contact with the enemy, it can absorb the chakra of the enemy for your own use. Hijack, stretch out an energized chain in the enemy direction and steal the enemy's ultimate skill for your own use. This ultimate skill can be used once without chakra consumption, and the skill cooldown time is 40 seconds. Jackpot. Although it has been reduced to two skills due to the attack method of the hero, these two skills were undoubtedly very powerful. The energized chain can steal the enemy's chakra, and hijack can steal the enemy's ultimate skill, and it can even be used once without chakra consumption. Uehara's gaze slowly turned to Guy and waved his hand to disband the distorted space cage. He said with excitement on his face, You are next, Guy. Kitahara Narakudano, can you release Kakashi first? Guy pointed to Kakashi, who was in a coma next to Uehara, and said in a deep voice, The battle between the two of us is likely to affect him. Uehara. Was his good person image too deep? Uehara sighed and kicked Kakashi in Guy direction, Sorry, Guy. I was forced to be helpless. Yes, I understand. Guy handed Kakashi to an Anbu before turning around to look at Uehara and said, When I heard Lee, Tenten, and Niji's comments on you, I really want to fight you very much. But I never thought it would be in this situation. I haven't thought about it either. Uehara's face was a little sad. Guy squeezed his fist sharply and said solemnly, We always need to know why we fight. At least I want to know your wishes. I just want Kanaha to agree to all the agreements in that book of alliance. Uehara's expression was unusually firm as if he would do anything for a Megakura's benefit. Then there is no other way. Guy shook his head, his feet suddenly crushed the slate, and his voice solemnly said, Then please advise, this is my trick to defeat Kakashi, hatch I'm in seventh gate open. Guy directly opened the seventh gate. The surging blue chakra instantly caused a surge of air. How strong was Guy in the seventh gate state? At least he has no problem beating Kisame. Uehara's mouth couldn't help but twitched, this was your trick to defeat Kakashi. You want him to die. Chapter 147, Hirudora vs Hirudora. Guy and his student Lee have such a character. Guy prepared the seventh gate for Kakashi, and Lee prepared the fifth gate for Niji, which they claimed was to defeat his destined rival. In fact, they won't survive even one move. The battle between him and Guy was not something ordinary ninja could intervene in, so the Kanaha ninjas have retreated from the high platform. With the seventh gate, the gate of shock opening, Guy directly erupted a surging momentum erupted, so staying here would only get in the way. Genma holding his books, looked up at Guy and Uehara fighting on the rooftop. A fist glowing in white struck Guy, and the shockwave brushed past him, a stone pillar instantly turned into fragments. Genma fell to the ground. He slowly sat upright and began to doubt life. As Guy's colleague, Genma has never seen Guy in such a state. And for a long time, everyone thought that this guy could only use Teijutsu's skills. Obviously, Guy only performs physical exercises in Kanaha. Thinking about it now, it might be a big misunderstanding. But Genma thought of Maitu, who had rescued their team at the time, and his brows wrinkled, if I remember it correctly, there was still the last gate in Hachiman, 8 gate. Now the seventh gate opening created such a powerful force. Did Guy already surpass Du Senpai? Unexpectedly, Genma thought of Guy's opponent again and couldn't help but say, but that little aim ninja can actually stop Guy's attack. Some people always worry too much. Uehara could not only resist Guy's attack but even launch a counter-attack. He had never experienced such a hearty battle. Punching and kicking were extremely exciting things. Unarmed combat can be called a man's romance. Uehara's fighting skills were novels that Guy had never seen before. Uehara's punching speed was also extremely fast. Guy, facing countless flying fists, could only block by following Uehara's attack rhythm. Boom! Uehara slammed his right fist on Guy's lower abdomen and hit him in the air. He jumped into the air, and his knee hit Guy's lower abdomen again. This was a pure Teijutsu showdown. Uehara relied on his extraordinary life energy, plus two genres of fighting skills, to confront Guy in seventh gate opening state. The seventh gate, the gate of shock, was not enough to defeat him. But it can make Uehara make some effort. Kanaha Kaigensh. Leaf Rock Destroying Rise. Guy hit Uehara's chest with an elbow, and after barely getting out of the predicament, a whip kick suddenly knocked Uehara down from the air. Uehara's fall completely destroyed the entire high platform. Huge dust flew up, and everyone was stunned to watch their fight from a distance. In just a few minutes, 
the two had switched offense and defense for several rounds. Too strong. Is this really a power of a jonin? The enemy can finally be defeated. Just as the Kanaha ninjas finally breathed a sigh of relief, they suddenly saw a figure flying out of the smoke and dust after the high platform collapsed. Uehara flew out like a cannonball, taking advantage of Guy's nowhere to borrow footsteps in the air. He threw a punch and knocked Guy to the ground. Not to be outdone, Guy stood up immediately. Resisting the pain, he closed his fists and looked at Uehara in the air. He then said loudly, This is my strongest move. I hope you can survive. Hiradora, Daytime Tiger. Guy's fist compressed a massive amount of air pressure cannon and rushed in Uehara's direction almost instantly. The air pressure cannon surging in the air was like a white and transparent tiger, and it opened its mouth toward Uehara. Uehara did not retreat but fought it head on. Golden chains suddenly appeared between him and Guy. Uehara used hijack to steal the strongest jutsu that Guy could release. And in the next moment, Uehara also clenched his fists and made the same gesture toward Guy. White tiger-shaped air pressure cannon was pushed out of his hand. These two white tigers collided instantly, and a violent shock wave instantly swept the surrounding land and destroyed countless buildings. The people nearby could not withstand the impact, and some ninja could not maintain their standing position and was blown away. The entire Chunin exam arena was raised to the ground. Uehara flying in the air, looked down at everything on the ground. He frowned and glanced at his fist, could it be because the current guy hasn't opened the eighth gate yet? so I can only steal his current strongest move. It seems that this was also normal. If Indra Arrow were stolen from the current Suzuki directly using hijack, it would be abnormal. After all, Suzuki may not be able to learn the Indra Arrow. What if, because of Uehara's guidance, Suzuki learned Uchihamadara's sword? Just being able to steal the current strongest technique was amazing enough. Guy faced the huge shock wave, looked up in the air, and said incredibly, How is this possible? This was a Taijutsu technique that could only be used when using Hachiman, 8 Gate. How can you use it? Nothing is impossible. Uehara leaned forward and rushed down, hitting Guy with a punch. Even if he blocked him in time, the huge power still smashed him into the rubble. Anyone with a discerning eye could see that Uehara was gradually gaining an advantage. The duel between the two Hirudora, Daytime Tiger, caused a huge consumption to Guy but Uehara seemed to feel nothing and still maintained a very high physical strength and chakra. This was also related to Uehara's strong resilience. Guy violently overturned the ruins, and his momentum skyrocketed again, a fantastic battle, this is the taste of youth. Kitahara Narakudano, I approve of you. Uehara's mouth twitched. Should he follow the process now and learn from Uchihamadara to boast that Guy was the strongest in Taijutsu skills? Forget it. This guy can't even correctly remember my name. Moreover, Guy didn't give him time to brew his emotions. After he recovered, he immediately rushed to Uehara's side. Seeing that these two monsters in the human body began to fight on the ground, several Anvio captains finally couldn't sit and watch, each shouting to let their subordinates leave. Everyone leave here. Retreat temporarily. Don't disturb their fight. But the Jonin will stay nearby and be ready to support Guy at any time. The Kanaha ninjas had to retreat again. There was an airwave tumbling in ruins, and the dust brought up by the two moving at high speed everywhere, and it was impossible to approach them. Jiraiya and Naruto were also observing this battle. He patted Naruto's head, and after calming the little guy's emotions, he looked at the battlefield with some worry, it looks like guy may not be able to win. I must go. Arrow Senen. Watch, little guy. Jiraiya also knocked on Naruto's forehead closed his palms abruptly, and said in a low voice, I'm going to use the sage mode later. You will learn it in the future, so you must watch it carefully, all right. Is it new ninjutsu? Much stronger than ninjutsu. A smile appeared on the corner of Jiraiya's mouth, and he chuckled, the power of sage mode is much stronger than ninjutsu. When we solve the problem here, I will take you out to practice. Taking advantage of when Guy and Uehara were fighting, Jiraiya accumulated natural energy to solve Uehara. In case Akanaha Sunan comes on the court later, and his performance was not as good as Guy's. I am afraid Kanaha will have difficulty solving Uehara. No matter what, Kanaha can never end in defeat. I didn't expect that my little book fan would be so strong. Jiraiya's expression became more solemn. Even he had already analyzed some of Uehara's skills, when that little guy and Guy used the same move just now, it should be a copy or extraction technique. 
is it similar to Mizu Kagami no Jutsu, water mirror technique? In the ninja world, this was not strange. Some weird techniques were not uncommon. However, whenever they saw this kind of technique, people were still surprised. After all, it was too weird and hard to detect. During the fierce battle between Uehara and Gai, Jiraiya extracted natural energy while observing their fighting style. Within a few minutes, Jiraiya saw a chain-like thing between Uehara and Gai. Jiraiya's eyes suddenly lit up, and he felt that he had collected Uehara's intelligence, was that the technique to replicate enemy ninjutsu? After using this technique, he should be able to use Gai's ability again. Jiraiya's guess was not wrong. Uehara and Gai fought restlessly for a while. Uehara looked for opportunities to steal Hirudora, Daytime Tiger, again and blasted out directly, out of respect for a strong Taijutsu user, let me use your Jutsu to defeat you. Hirudora, Daytime Tiger. Uehara's fists blasted out. A pressure air cannon turned into a white tiger, roaring towards Gai, and completely defeated him, who was already in his limit. Side mission, beat up Might Gai, 1 slash 1. The mission has been complete. Reward, Undying Rage. Undying Rage, if a person was eager to fight, he should not fall in the battle and was immune to any lethal damage within 5 seconds. No chakra consumption and has a cooldown time of 55 seconds. Side mission, defeat 7th gate, the gate of shock, state might guy, 1 slash 1. The mission has been completed. Reward, thunder clap. Thunder clap, slam the ground to create a super shock wave, the skill consumes 50 chakra points and has a cooldown time of 5 seconds. Side mission, defeat might guy, 1 slash 1. The mission has been completed. Ruard, deliberate punch. Deliberate punch, punch in a direction. The fist punching pressure will hurt enemies within a range. The chakra consumption chakra was related to the range. The minimum consumption was 100 chakra points and the cooldown time was 9 seconds. What kind of reward was this? Except for the undying rage that can be kept, the remaining two skills can be thrown into the skill synthesis. After this incident was over, Uehara planned to organize his skills and only keep some useful ones. When Uehara received his reward for beating and defeating Guy, he saw Guy vomiting blood but still stood firmly. Was there no limit to this guy? Can the system reward cannot wholly determine his victory? Can you still stand up and fight even though you have already lost? Guy clenched his fist and raised a thumb toward Uehara, Kitahara Narakudano, you are really strong. I don't know if my body can still withstand a move, but I, I want to give it still a try. Guy, you have done well. Leave it to me next. Jiraiya suddenly appeared next to Guy and patted his shoulder gently. It was just this little bit of force that Guy almost fell staggeringly. Obviously, this blue beast has really reached his limit. Then please, Jiraiya-sama. Guy let out a sigh of relief and relieved his eight-gate state. He collapsed to the ground, and the others rushed over and took him away from the scene. After watching Guy being taken away, Jiraiya turned to look at Uehara and said loudly, Boy, I didn't expect that I would fight you one day. Jiraiya-sama, I also don't want to. Uehara's expression gradually became serious. Now Jiraiya was in sage mode, and in his shoulders, the Mount Mayaboku's two small toad sage was sitting. These two toad sages constantly provide him with natural energy. This was the Mount Mayaboku sage mode. Jiraiya, in this state, was in his strongest posture. Chapter 148, Two Traces of Missing Nin Jiraiya was powerful in sage mode. If he wants to, he can escape under the siege and suppression of the full combat power of six pain, and with insufficient intelligence, he can even kill a few pains. The toad sage Fukasaku and Shima sitting on Jiraiya's shoulders seem to be short in stature, but they were actually the highest combat power that Mount Mayaboka contractor can summon. In addition to providing him with natural energy to maintain long-term sage mode, they can also help Jiraiya fights together. It's just that after defeating Gai, Uehara's self-confidence has been greatly improved, and he was sure that he could win. After all, if it doesn't work, Uehara can still summon Galio. It's just that Jiraiya's relationship with Akatsuki was complicated. Uehara didn't want to fight too fiercely and just wanted to take the rewards for defeating Jiraiya. After all, these rewards would certainly not be too bad. Uehara looked at Jiraiya and shook his head. He sighed softly, I respect you very much. My sensei and elders respect Jiraiya's personality very much. If they knew that I was against you, they would be very upset with me. This sentence was true. 
Even though the teacher and student parted ways, Conan always respected Jiraiya in her heart. Oh! Jiraiya also raised his eyebrows and seemed to have some interest in it, unfortunately, I didn't know a few friends in Omega Kure. Many years ago, I received three students in the country of Rain. But all of them have died in the Third Ninja World War. Little Jiraiya! Fukasaku suddenly interrupted the communication between them and said solemnly, Don't waste time. Gamabunta is still lying in bed. Let's solve it quickly, the old woman and I have to take care of him. Eh, was Bunta hurt? What's the matter? Jiraiya also cares for his old friend. Fukasaku nodded and explained in a low voice, Well, Gamabunta said that little Naruto's friend injured him, he was called, called. Uehara Nariku. Uehara said his name and explained aloud, Actually, I just want to help Naruto subdue his summoned beast. After all, Jiraiya-sama asked me to help at the time, and that Gamabunta was too smelly and a bit unobedient. A person and two toad's eyes immediately stared at Uehara. Jiraiya couldn't help but patted his forehead and said, Eh, kid, I didn't mean that. Fukasaku suddenly became a little dissatisfied, this kid is really troublesome. The summoned beast is a ninja's partner, not a ninja's servant. Shima couldn't help but begin to roll up her little sleeves and echoed, Little Jiraiya, you should really teach a lesson to this kind of kid. Don't waste your time and solve this battle right away. Understand. This battle was impossible to avoid. The Kanaha chaos must be put down immediately. Dotan, Yomi Numa. Earth release, Swamp of the Underworld. Jiraiya quickly closed his hands to form a hand seal and instantly turned Uehara's feet into a swamp, trying to limit Uehara's speed. However, when this technique was over, Jiraiya looked at Uehara's feet in amazement. There was no muddy stain at all. This guy has been flying all the time. Can the enemy fly in the air? Shima frowned and immediately opened her mouth to spit out a slender tongue toward Uehara, trying to restrain his actions, Zesenbaku. Fighting tongue bind. Twilight blade. A purple chakra broadsword appeared in Uehara's hand, trying to cut off the slender tongue with a single sword swing, but the tongue attached to the purple chakra broadsword was extremely tough and tightly entangled his purple chakra broadsword. Sudan, Suidan Ha. Water release, water severing wave. A long, slender, high pressure stream of water spewed out from Fukusaka's mouth and traveled towards Uehara's body, seeming to want to divide him into two parts. Uehara simply let go of the purple broadsword, then used Shunpo to appear behind Jiraiya to blast Fukazaka's head with a punch. I'm already prepared for this trick. Jiraiya turned abruptly and caught Uehara's fist, only to feel a huge force coming from it. If it hadn't been for Jiraiya to start the sage mode now, he even thought that this fist would be a little difficult to resist. But this still does not hinder Jiraiya from praising, your body flicker technique is faster than Hanzo, and it is not inferior even to the little guy Minato. Yes. Uehara's body flicker was very fast. If it weren't for knowing that Uehara didn't leave any flying thunder god mark, Jiraiya would even suspect that Uehara had learned flying thunder god. However, since he caught Uehara's hand, Jiraiya would certainly not give up this chance. The other palm opened quickly, and when his palm was about to slap Uehara's body, Sen, raise Nan. Sage art, raise Nan. Snapped. Uehara also grabbed his palm with his other hand, feeling the waves of raise Nan rubbing against the air. He slowly raised his head and looked at the tall Jiraiya and whispered, No hand seal ninjutsu? You are really amazing, Jiraiya-sama. However, the next moment, the raise Nan suddenly disappeared. An invisible attack sent Uehara flying away. Kawazuku might, Frog Kata, this ability can mobilize natural energy to attack the enemy, and it was impossible to notice. Uehara glanced at the Frog Kata damage caused to him. His brows wrinkled, his palms quickly formed a hand seal, and a hurricane vortex appeared beside him, Futon, Howling Gale. This hurricane moved quickly in Jiraiya's direction, dragging Jiraiya and others in the gale. Jiraiya also frowned and could only attach chakra under his feet to hold his body so as not to be dragged in the gale. In this way, they could only face Uehara's attack. And as expected, Uehara did not let go of this opportunity, waves appeared under his feet, and these waves instantly rushed in the direction of Jiraiya. Not good. Jiraiya also looked at the huge waves, his complexion suddenly changed, and he could only use defensive ninjutsu, Dotan, Doryeki. Earth release. Earth style wall. A tall earth wall appeared in front of him. With chakras underneath his feet, 
Jiraiya climbed up along the earth wall, looking down at the monstrous waves swept in, and quickly submerged the area around the earth wall. After a while, the hurricane gradually dissipated, and the waves also gradually faded. Fukasaku persuaded in a deep voice, Little Jiraiya, I understand that you may want to keep this kid alive, but you can't fight like this. It's just a waste of time. Yes. Shima also persuaded, use powerful sage art right away. This kid is not easy to deal with. Understand. Jiraiya flew down and lay down, his long hair spread out in an instant, turning into a hard spike and shooting in Uehara's direction of Uehara, Senpo, Kabari Senbon. Sage art, hair needle Senbon. Futon, wind barrier. Uehara immediately formed a wall of wind, blocking the hair needle Senbon attack. The two of them began a ninjutsu competition across the wide ruined land. For Jiraiya, this obviously entered his rhythm. After the wind wall disappeared, Jiraiya quickly launched his attack, Ranjishigami no Jutsu. Wild Lion's Main Technique Jiraiya white hair instantly extended, and after tightly restraining Uehara's body in the sky, Jiraiya opened his mouth and released out a burst of fire oil, Senpo, Gomen. Sage Art, Bath of Boiling Oil Following Jiraiya's actions, Fukasaku, next to him, opened his mouth and released Wind Ninjutsu, and Shima released Fire Ninjutsu. The flame quickly burned the oil. Wind helps the fire become stronger. An overwhelming flame rushed towards Uehara in an instant, and the land was also burned by this monstrous fire wave, and even the fire oil caused an explosion. The fire wave speed was so fast that Uehara couldn't even find a chance to avoid it. And this was a completely irresistible technique. Unless foam was used, it was impossible to extinguish these flames. Uehara frowned, and a golden cover appeared on his body. At the same time, his body rose rapidly and escaped the flame-burning area. This was the first enemy to force him to use his invincibility skill since his life, and chakra energy broke 10,000 points. Sure enough, you can't underestimate Jiraiya. If you don't pay attention, you may be overturned. Jiraiya's expression suddenly changed. He looked at Uehara, who was unharmed in the air, what kind of technique was that? Was it similar to the defensive technique of the Suir no Jutsu, water prison technique? Sorry, Jiraiya-sama. Uehara raised his palm, and the golden chakra lightsaber floated around him. He looked down at Jiraiya on the ground and said in a deep voice, I must tell you that you have lost this time. The golden lightsaber flew towards the ground. Jiraiya also hurriedly turned over to evade, only to see a golden lightsaber shot into the ground. However, these two lightsabers passed through Fukasaku and Shima's bodies, almost killing the two toad sage. In other words, these chakra lightsabers were initially directed at them. Bang! The two toads dissipated into smoke. The natural energy in Jiraiya's body gradually became insufficient, and he had to withdraw from his sage mode. This battle was a bit difficult for him. Now that Uehara has cracked Jiraiya's sage mode, he did not hesitate anymore because he has already occupied the victory. The reward for defeating the sage mode Jiraiya has been obtained. The next step was to defeat Jiraiya with fiery momentum like his battle with Gai just now. Uehara appeared in front of Jiraiya, clenched his fist, and slammed it into Jiraiya. Bang! This punch went down but only hit a shadow clone. Then Uehara was kicked by another Jiraiya who emerged. Uehara slowly got up, patted the dust on his body, and began to curse in his heart. Why was he always fooled by the enemy's shadow clone recently? Ever since Uehara saw Itachi show a wave to Obito with a crow clone, he seems to have been unlucky. Today he was overshadowed by Kakashi's lightning clone and Jiraiya's shadow clone. Jiraiya also looked at Uehara, who was getting up in the distance, and the corners of his mouth twitched slightly. He whispered, Little kid, I'm just a little curious. You were able to copy Guy's ability just now. Why did you not use that technique in me? You have a lot of chakras left, right? Uehara patted his body and glanced at Jiraiya speechlessly, but he still replied softly, because Jiraiya-sama's ability is not worth wasting my precious skills. This was, of course, nonsense. Uehara believes that Jiraiya's power lies in his summoned beast. What if he steals a summoning technique? Jiraiya's expression suddenly choked, he squeezed his wrist, and his expression gradually became a little serious, what a troublesome little guy. After losing the sage mode, Jiraiya did not actually feel that his strength would be reduced. As an orthodox ninja, his fighting technique was not limited to a certain method. 
the means of fighting were far more important than strength. The sage mode was very powerful, but because of the natural energy produced by the two toad sage, Fukasaku and Shima, it also restricts Jiraiya's various fighting methods and prevents him from summoning other summoned beasts. Even if Jiraiya was in a Taijutsu match, he must ensure that no one can harm the two toad sage who helps him absorb natural energy. Facing Uehara, a genius ninja who possesses many rare ninjutsu and unconventional skills, Jiraiya also believes that he must use some unconventional combat methods. Kukiyo Snoju Jiraiya-sama Just as Jiraiya tried to summon a toad, several Anbu appeared around them to interrupt the battle, the consultant wants to see him immediately. They will take over from here. Dozens of Anbu ninjas jumped around them, instantly surrounding Uehara. This time it was Kanaha's Anbu who made a big move. The Anbu ninja leader came to Jiraiya's side and explained in a low voice, the Sandame sama have been killed in battle. To calm the people in the village, the consultants believe that Kanaha's next Hokage can no longer be defeated, so they will take over things here. I'm sorry, but for the sake of the overall situation, let us handle it. The two Kanaha senior consultants decided on this matter. Because Jiraiya could not defeat Uehara for a long time, the two senior consultants, Koharu and Homura, could no longer let Kanaha's top combat power be defeated to soothe the masses. Strictly speaking, after Hiruzen died, there was only Jiraiya, a top powerhouse with both prestige and strength. Now Jiraiya and Uehara have been fighting for a long time. If Jiraiya also overturned the boat in the gutter, it would seriously blow Kanaha's prestige. Therefore, Koharu and Homura decided to interrupt this battle and no longer pitted against this powerful enemy alone. I have to say that for Kanaha's situation, the two senior consultants' approach was understandable. They were just a little cautious, but they can be said to be reasonable. After the third Hokage's death, they desperately needed a top combat power to make the villagers confident. If the fifth Hokage Jiraiya, they believed, was also defeated, wouldn't Kanaha be in chaos? How can the first ninja village maintain its dignity? Especially Kanaha now has other troubles. I will never do something like being a Hokage. Jiraiya shook his head. He didn't like the Hokage position before, and he hated it even more after today. Jiraiya also solemnly rejected Anbu's proposal, go back and tell them that I will help them find a suitable Hokage candidate. Sorry. The Anbu leader rejected Jiraiya's order and continued, Jiraiya-sama, for Kanaha's consideration, please abide by the high-level orders. Get out. Jiraiya looked at Uehara, who was surrounded, and said solemnly, wait until I solve this kid, he is not something you can easily deal with, so step back. However, how could the Anbu arrival be unprepared? The Anbu leader threw a scroll towards Uehara and said, The consultant has heard that you want to reach an alliance between Kanaha and AIM at all costs. Kanaha decided to agree to a Megakur's demand. After speaking, the Anbu leader added, As long as you agree, we will immediately send someone to contact a Megakure to sign an offensive and defensive alliance. Kanaha would make such a concession? Why would they give in? Uehara was a little confused and didn't understand why things had progressed to this point. He felt as if he had shot himself in the foot. Jiraiya also did not believe about these concessions, what the hell is going on? The Anbu leader leaned into Jiraiya's ear and whispered, Jiraiya-sama, the sensory team found two S-class missing nin traces around the village. One of them is Uchiha Itachi. Chapter 149, Why Does This Book of Alliance Look Like Kabuto's Wish List? Kanaha was in an unprecedented period of weakness. With the third Hokage's death and Shimura Danzo's disappearance, Kakashi and Guy were hospitalized one after another. Kanaha could not even pick out a few people who could contend the two S-class missing nin, and they couldn't even deal with the S-class missing nin who sneak in. The last one, Orochimaru, just made a mess in Kanaha, and two new appeared around Kanaha, which was simply a straw that broke the camel's back. So they were compelled to do so. Kanaha's senior consultant can only temporarily sign an alliance with the AIM. As for whether this alliance will be followed, they will still have to discuss it in the future. And according to Kaharu and Homura's speculation on Hanzo, if they ask Hanzo to sell Uehara in exchange for the alliance between Kanaha and AIM, the ninja demigod will definitely agree to exchange. Kanaha is sure to agree to that book of alliance. Uehara showed surprise and joy on his face, but he hadn't had time to read the content on it. Who knew what Kabuto had written on it? As a result, Kanaha agreed. The Anbu leader nodded and said coldly, The Kanaha consultant is waiting to meet you in the Hokage building. Unfortunately. Uehara glanced at Jiraiya regretfully. 
if, according to the popularity of this person, it was almost the same as Team 7 and a hero inheritance mission might be rewarded. However, Kanaha has already claimed to agree to his terms. If he continued to turn his face at this time, it was equivalent to standing up and exposing himself as the villain. Fortunately, the reward for breaking the Sage Mode has arrived. Side Mission, Break the Mount Mayaboku Sage Mode, 1 slash 1. The mission has been completed. Reward, Sage Mode Upgrade to the Higher Rank. Ascended, when the Natural Energy and the Chakra Energy value are the same, you can enter a new battle mode by synthesizing it into a Sage Chakra, which is currently in the second form of Ascension. Jiraiya also looked at Uehara, who was under the surveillance of Anbu, well, let me go and see them with this little guy. Don't worry, Jiraiya-sama. Right now, there was no sadness or joy on Uehara's face, everything I do is for Omega Kure and Country of Rain. It won't have any changes. Even if Kanaha set up traps, he would not be afraid. If Kanaha really wants to harm him, should he let pain come in advance? When the chaos here was finally quiet down, the Kanaha invasion also completely calmed down. A man with a hood appears, I hope Narakusama won't blame me too much. After all, I also wanted a decent ending. Ah. But I didn't expect Kanaha to completely agree to the conditions in the Book of Alliance. It was Yakushi Kabuto. According to Kabuto's guess, if the battle continues like this, Uehara and Kanaha will tear their skins, and eventually, a catastrophic battle will be triggered. So Kabuto faked the two traces of S-class missing Nin, which attracted Kanaha's high-level people's attention, and by the way, pursued a decent and peaceful ending. He had lived in Kanaha for so long, so he still has some soft parts for it. Hokage Office When Uehara read the Book of Alliance, he said, Well, support Hanzo-sama to become an Amekage, support the Country of Rain to annex the territory of the Country of Grass. There was nothing wrong with the first two. Anyway, the first two conditions will not be realized because Hanzo's bones have already been cold. Only when he saw the remaining condition made Uehara almost explode in anger. Support Omega Kure to clean up Akatsuki organization the cause of the civil strife? Support Omega Kure to build a large orphanage? Support Omega Kure to build a biological science laboratory? What the hell was this? Damn, sometimes you should check your subordinate work in advance. Otherwise, you will not know what trouble will it cause you. Especially Uehara's subordinates have their own ideas. This was a book of alliance. This was clearly Kabuto's wish list. Now looking at this book of alliance, Uehara feels that he has been used. After he solicited Kisame last time, Uehara suddenly remembered that Kisame persuaded him to kill the fourth Mizu cage. Now thinking about it, he should have been used too. These are all agreements signed between Aim and Danzo. Kohara slowly poured a cup of tea and whispered, you don't need to look at word behind Uehara. Kanaha will support it, as for the three in front. Homura accepted the stubborn words softly, we Kanaha have also agreed, but when you are in Omega Kure, you must always be alert to the possible invasion of the country of Earth. For the time being, Kanaha does not want to worry about the northern border issue. Kohara waited until his partner had finished speaking and continued, and when Kanaha settles down, we will send troops to help destroy the Akatsuki organization that was entrenched in your country. Uehara was faintly speechless. Even if Kanaha agreed, he was unwilling to agree. What Kanaha sent troops to help destroy the Akatsuki organization, the Country of Rain was now Akatsuki territory. And when Kanaha Ninja enters the Country of Rain, it's hard to guarantee that they can't find any tracks. Kabuto was unreliable at all. He wants to use this kind of thing to restrain Akatsuki, lest they go to trouble Orochimaru. Can he change one of them? No, all the above must be replaced. Uehara squeezed the teacup in his hand and slowly planned to change some of it, no, this was not my contract with Danzo-sama. You are deceiving me. Kohara put the two scrolls of the Book of Alliance on the table and whispered, this was the original Book of Alliance. Do you intend to blackmail us? Do you still want Kanaha to bow down to Omega Kure? After speaking, Koharu even introduced, the one on the left is the Book of Alliance we found from your body, and the one on the right is the original Book of Alliance we found at the Root Organization base. The two copies are exactly the same, and there is no mistake in it. Uehara squeezed his teacup abruptly. Kabuto's handling of this mess was really perfect. To make Shimura Danzo a scapegoat, he prepared two copies and did this directly without telling him. Koharu sighed and said in a low voice, Although Danzo has been listed as a Kanaha criminal in private, 
this was a document he signed while serving as a senior consultant, so we will still recognize it. Jiraiya also said solemnly, however, the previous ones are not easy for Kanaha to realize, and it can easily affect Kanaha's reputation. Fine. Uehara waved his hand and picked up a pen. He raised his head and looked at the people present and said in a deep voice, Today, for my village benefit and against my conscience, I killed an elder, injured some of my friends, and even became Jiraiya-sama enemy. Oh! Jiraiya was also faintly surprised. Even Koharu and Homura were a little confused, wanting to see what this stubborn aim ninja intends to do. I'm sorry. I am willing to apologize to Jiraiya-sama for this. Uehara picked up the pen and drew down the first few strokes, and said in a deep voice, Please delete the ones that can cause trouble for Kanaha. As for the consequences of this matter, I will handle it. Jiraiya's fingers tapped gently on the desktop, and his voice solemnly asked, This book of alliance was bought after you fought for your life. Smack! Kohara slapped Jiraiya on the shoulder. Uehara ignored all of this and said softly, I respect Hanzo-sama, but I respect the peace in the country of rain even more. I know that certain terms will bring Omegakure continuous battles, and we already have suffered too much. Chapter 150, Can't There Be Any Reliable Subordinate? Kanaha executives feel that Uehara was mentally retarded. Some clauses in the book of alliance between Kanaha and AIM can be done with the money. Kanaha can admit Hanzo as a mechage and supports the annexation of neighboring countries' land, but they will not do it no matter how much money was spent. In essence, Naming a cage means that Kanaha recognizes that the country of rain was equal to the five great countries. Whether prestige or diplomacy, the country of rain will have the same status as Kanaha. If Hanzo knew that he had a chance to become a mechage and a ninja in his village blocked it, he would definitely kill this ninja. Koharu and Homura showed weird smiles behind their backs. These two old people playing politics scolded Uehara in their heart for being an idiot. After Uehara leaves Kanaha, they will find a way to spread it throughout the five great countries and sit and watch how Hanzo will kill Uehara, a rising star of Omega Kure. Okay, let's follow your instructions. Koharu slowly accepted the Book of Alliance in Uehara's hand and whispered to the Anbu next to her, go and prepare a new agreement. Just follow the above. Yes. The Anbu turned around and left. You can take the funds for the orphanage first. Koharu slowly sat down again and whispered, as for the biological science research laboratory equipment, we will prepare it soon. We will give it when Omega Kure Envoy brings back the agreement Hanzo Dano signed. Ha ha ha. At that time, Hanzo will send this bastard Uehara Naraku's head as a gift. Uehara nodded, looking like a beginner in negotiation, and even said a little stiffly, sorry for the trouble. No problem. Kohara played with her teacup slowly and said, it has always been Kanaha's responsibility to support the small and medium-sized ninja village. Obviously, this was fake rhetoric. After a while, the agreement was sent back, and after returning it, Koharu and Homura let Jiraiya sign it, they wanted to treat him as Kanaha's fifth Hokage. Uehara took the agreement and the money for poverty alleviation to establish an orphanage and left directly. He was going to Kabuto to settle the accounts. This bastard actually took the opportunity to make personal gains for himself, although the orphanage and the biological science research laboratory were indeed Omega Kure needed. After Uehara left the Hokage building, the smiles on the faces of Koharu and Homura after turning back suddenly deepened. Homura pressed his glasses and whispered, It seems that we will receive this kid's head soon. Hanzo always carries the name of a ninja demigod for decades, but what he wanted was the Omekage title. This kid is still too young. Kohara sighed quietly and whispered, before he died, let him taste the pain of being betrayed by his own ninja village. A ninja's life was exchanged for peace. This kind of thing was not uncommon in big countries, let alone small or medium countries. Obviously, Jiraiya also realized this. So Jiraiya took the initiative to leave the Hokage building with him, and when Uehara was about to leave the building, he whispered, Boy, take care. Thank you, Jiraiya-sama. Uehara nodded, then turned around and left. Naruto suddenly appeared from the Hokage building corner and said loudly, Aero Senen, I will also say goodbye to him. Jiraiya was silent for a while, then nodded. On the way to leave Kanahagakur. Many people cast hateful gaze toward Uehara and Naruto. Some people hated Uehara for killing the third Hokage, and they couldn't understand why the higher UPS let him go. Some people hated and feared Naruto and almost ran away. Uehara looked at the yellow-haired boy next to him and sighed, 
Naruto, there are so many people who are hostile to you in Kanaha. I don't care. Naruto scratched his head, and with some awkward smiles on his face, he said, I already know why this problem occurs, but I will let them recognize me. This time Kyuubai incident made Kanaha even more hateful of him. However, Naruto no longer cares about this kind of thing. Anyway, the root problem Saratobi Hiruzen has been killed, and he believes these things will change in time in the future. Even if many people hate Naruto right now, it might change in the future. As long as Naruto still has little fetters and warmth for the village, he will desperately move toward that point of warmth and go toward the light. Uehara faintly looked at Naruto, who turned a blind eye to everyone's hatred. This time it was because of Minato's timely rescue. He wanted to see who would come out next time. After leaving Kanaha, Uehara appeared in front of Kabuto. He took out the agreement and threw it on him, do you know how much trouble it caused me? Forget the rest, but why did you put, Kanaha will support AIM to stop the civil strife and clean up the Akatsuki organization. Let me explain, Narakusama. Kabuto sighed, he lowered his head and explained, I thought this kind of agreement would be impossible, and Kanaha generally wouldn't bow to a small ninja village who proposed this condition. Then why this time? I don't know, but I will stay near Kanaha for the time being to investigate. Kabuto pushed his eyeglasses and whispered, if Kanaha really has any serious trouble, maybe we have a chance to seize the Kyuubai Jinchuriki Uzumaki Naruto. Don't think about this anymore. This mission is temporarily abandoned. Uehara shook his head and whispered, why don't you do this, you will go to Orochimaru to induce Suzuki to defect, and I will rob Suzuki on the way. Kabuto. Why does his new boss always want to cheat his old boss? Kabuto lowered his head and pondered, if I remember correctly, Itachi is also an Akatsuki? Wouldn't it cause any trouble? Rest assured. Uehara squeezed his wrist and whispered, what happens next? We will talk about it later, and it would be good for me to take Suzuki away. It will stop Orochimaru from staring and drooling at Sasuke's body every day. It can also force him to actively study White Zetsu's body. The Chunin exam ended. The next target was to provoke Black Zetsu and Orochimaru to fight with each other. Uehara would use Orochimaru's name to reveal Black Zetsu's info to know everyone in this ninja world. I understand. Kabuto sighed and nodded. Uehara looked at Kabuto and said in a deep voice, this can be done a little slower because Itachi and Kisame are near Kanaha. Wait until they leave before starting to act. Clear. Also, let Haku and Kimimaro return to the country of Rain with Karin. It will be troublesome for them to stay here and also help me prepare a hidden place. Uehara whispered, during this time, I will wait there until Sasuke's defection. And also helped me create the agreement with Hanzo's signs so that I can ask Kanaha for the biological science research laboratory equipment to bring back to Omega Kure. A smile finally appeared on Kabuto's face and he said unceremoniously, Narakusama has been working hard. Uehara couldn't help glare at him. If Kabuto hadn't written these messy conditions, why should he work so hard? Kabuto took out a scroll indifferently and said empathetically, does Narakusama need money? I heard that Uehara-sama has been using explosive tags as spending money in Kanaha, and occasionally, Kakashi pays for you when you go out. No need to. Uehara frowned and said, I just got Kanaha's funds to support the orphanage construction. It should be no problem to spend a little. Public funds should not be used lightly. Kabuto shook his head solemnly and even took the initiative to use his scroll to replace the scroll in Uehara's hand, I will give these funds quietly to Konan-sama. This is my personal savings and should be enough for Narakusama to spend. Uehara opened the sealed scroll given by Kabuto, and his eyebrows twisted up with anger, your personal saving? 500 Ryo? Kabuto, you want me to sleep outside like a poor person. Cough cough cough. Kabuto coughed a few times and explained, I have spent all the funds that Orochimaru-sama gave me. I'm a little tight this day. Forget it. Uehara sighed and said in a low voice, I'll find an opportunity to borrow some money from someone else. I hope that guy Kisame will have some money. Chapter 151, I'm little tight in money, Kisame. The Country of Fire. Kanaha Gakur. Kanaha's senior consultant temporarily resolved all foreign enemies using peaceful means. Jiraiya went out personally and began to supervise Third Hokage's henchman investigation, looking for the Anbu that claims to have been monitoring Naruto and to avoid others using the Third Hokage's dark secrets. This news must not be leaked out. If it was the thick-skinned guys like Kazakage, Suchikage, and Reikage, 
they wouldn't care what the people see them. They would do it as long as it was beneficial to the village. However, Hokage settings were different. It's just that no matter how Jiraiya tracked down the Anbu who had been responsible for protecting Naruto, he never been found him. So Jiraiya could only temporarily define him as missing Nin. Unfortunately, Jiraiya also found out a lot about Saratobi Hiruzen's dark history, such as secretly supporting Orochimaru and Danzo in conducting experiments in Kanaha. This dark history directly disintegrated Saratobi Hiruzen's good old man image. At the same time, he found the information about this Anbu dedicated to doing Hiruzen's dark things. This information was very detailed. Curiously, the code name of this Anbu was Orphan. The Kanaha senior consultant and Jiraiya believed that this Anbu, codenamed Orphan, might belong to Saratobi himself and acted alone without any partner. After all, his code name was Orphan. Kabuto handed the grilled fish in his hand to Uehara and said, Narakusama, during this time. Kanaha was tracing the Anbu who Naruto heard that night. It seems that the little gift I left for them when we left should be soon discovered. What gift? Some information of Sandame Sama dark history. Kabuto pushed his glasses meaningfully and said softly, I always think that as a qualified spy, we must not let people notice the problem of the two people who shouldn't appear in one place. Otherwise, it will be easy to suspect us, and even a little bit of doubt will bring a problem to us. Whether it was Orochimaru-sama or Naraku-sama, they have attracted too much hatred in Kanaha's collapse plan, and I can just use this to make Kanaha fall into greater chaos. Kabuto wanted to use a series of factual evidence. The person who blew himself up at Naruto's window that night must be Hiruzen and an Anbu ninja. Kabuto did not hide his plan. Now that Kanaha has begun investigating this matter, he will soon arrange for the Anbu code named Orphan to defect and reveal the news about the dead Hiruzen instigating the Kyuubai rampage and the killing of the fourth Hokage and his wife. After Kabuto talked about his plan, he added a very philosophical saying, Since you are going to do a show, you must give your all. You are really a talent. Uehara sighed. Kabuto, who arranges everything carefully, deserves to be the real man behind the scenes in the ninja world. Uehara raised his eyebrows suddenly and asked curiously, Do the third Hokage really have such a dark history? Yes, Narakusama. After Kabuto nodded his head and whispered, How can a Hokage, who has been in charge of Kanaha for nearly 40 years, be a kind old man? Some people will whitewash their dark history with peace and compassion. As a spy, Kabuto knows a lot. It's just that a subordinate with a high intelligence quotient can faintly set off Uehara's unqualified behind-the-scenes man because Uehara was not as careful as Kabuto. Uehara thought for a while, and he couldn't help but frown when his grilled fish became cold, I don't want to eat it anymore. Konan-sensei in the village makes grilled fish every day, yet here you also make grilled fish for me. Uh. Kabuto's face suddenly became a little embarrassed, it's already too late at this time. I will go to the nearby village to buy some food tomorrow. No need. Uehara shook his head and said softly, I'll go directly to that guy Kisame. Do your own thing, and don't let me down. Yes. Kabuto bowed his head respectfully, watching the pile of cards slowly appearing at Uehara's feet and then disappearing in front of him. After a long time, Kabuto slowly raised his head. Holding the grilled fish, he said regretfully, Narakusama seems to be a little bit ignorant of world affairs. The stray children in the country of fire can only stay in the garbage dump because they can't fish. Kabuto touched the scroll in his ninja bag because Uehara did not take the funds to build the orphanage. Kabuto couldn't help sighing and said, It's just that compared with Orochimaru-sama, Narakusama seems purer. In the silent jungle. Kisame and Itachi marched in Kanaha's direction. They heard the news about the Kanaha Chunin exam chaos and learned about Saratobi Hiruzen's death, but Itachi did not know about Danzo's death. Therefore, Itachi planned to return to Kanaha and warn Danzo, and by the way, see if his little brother Suzuki was safe. When passing by a roadside shop, Kisame saw a young man gorging making his mouth bulge. Itachi. Kisame grinned and looked at the young man, do you think that down and out guy looks like our organization in turn? It's really similar. Itachi raised his head and looked at it carefully for a while. His face suddenly looked a little strange, hey? It's really Uehara Naraku, right? Why is he here? This seems inappropriate. It was said that this guy had just assassinated Kanaha's third Hokage and even used the ninja demigod Hanzo reputation to force Kanaha to sign an alliance agreement. After this news came out, if Hanzo were really alive, it was estimated that the person head who signed the agreement, Uehara Naraku, 
would be cut off. Whoosh! A bamboo stick stuck at Kisame's feet. Uehara looked at Kisame with a blank face, then stretched out his hand and said, Kisame-senpai, Itachi-san, let me borrow some money. I'm a little tight lately. To be honest, I dare not let you borrow. Kisame shook his head quickly, ignoring that he was actually Uehara's spy, and explained in a low voice, I can't bear this responsibility because if anything goes wrong, Konan-senpai will ask me for the detail. Kisame grinned and continued, I heard that Tsunade, one of Kanaha's sonin, was very active recently in the country of fire, so I dare not to let you borrow my money. Uehara murmured coward and turned to look at Itachi. If it weren't for Itachi, he would definitely grill a shark fin today. However, when in private, Kisame would be extremely respectful to Uehara and perfectly portray the attitude of a spy. But when they met on the outside, Kisame always pretended to be unfamiliar. Itachi directly avoided the borrowing money talk and instead asked, Uehara, why are you still here and haven't returned to Omega Kure? I have no traveling expenses. Uehara chuckled and smiled. After being silent for a while, Itachi untied his collar, took out his wallet, and abruptly changed the subject, you just said to borrow money. How much do you need to borrow? One million ryo. After Uehara opened his mouth and said a big number, he continued, next time, I can grant you an extra 1.5 million ryo of activity funds. I don't have that much. Itachi took out a stack of money and handed it to Uehara, I only have 100,000 ryo here. Don't tell Konan Senpai that I lent you. I understand. Uehara took away the money and, in good faith, he said, what about you guys? Does Pain Sama give you any mission? Is there a place I can help both of you? As expected of the organization finance officer, you talk with money. Kisame glanced at Itachi intentionally and laughed in a low voice, he he he, we want to take the opportunity of Kanaha's chaos to investigate the information about the Kanaha Jinchuriki, see if we can take him away. This mission is not so simple. Uehara glanced at these two people. He lowered his voice and said, You are right. The whole Kanaha is now a mess. But bringing back the Kyuubai Jinchuriki will expose Akatsuki's existence, and you might also die. Itachi's eyes moved slightly, and then he sighed, This is the leader's command. We can only do it even if we give up our lives. Akatsuki will not accommodate the incompetent. Uehara blinked his eyes and said softly, If you fail, the organization might send the new member candidate to complete this but don't worry, this person is much weaker than you. Uehara chuckled and continued, If Itachi-san wants to, you can kill the new member at any time. I believe the people in the organization will not blame you. Thanks a lot. Itachi nodded. Chapter 152, Hayaga Hinata who become the clan head. Itachi was fooled. If he knew who the new candidate was about to join Akatsuki, he would regret lending money to Uehara today. In the days to come, Uehara will continue to instigate Itachi to kill the new candidate. The current Itachi does not know anything. After he and Kisame sneaked into Kanaha, they only felt that Kanaha's guard was a little tight. Itachi did not find information about Danzo, and they even fought with Kakashi's group. After a fierce battle, the two had to choose to retreat. In this battle, Kakashi suffered another disaster. Faced with an unseen Tsukuyomi, Kakashi, who had just been discharged, was admitted to the hospital again. But Kanaha also learned that Akatsuki wanted to take Kanaha Kyuubai. After Suzuki knew about this, his first thought was to find Naruto and help him avoid any danger. As a result, Suzuki went too late and learned that Jiraiya had taken away Naruto. Because Jiraiya wanted to find Tsunade to serve as the fifth Hokage. As for taking Naruto with him, it was for the convenience of protecting Naruto and training him. Suzuki hurried to chase after him, hoping that Naruto could escape the tracking of Itachi and Kisame, but Itachi caught him instead. Itachi sent his brother at Tsukuyomi as a greeting, so Suzuki was also hospitalized. It was Jiraiya who pushed them back by himself, so the two had to give up the mission of capturing the Kyuubai. Uehara watched all of this, and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but twitched slightly, You are really good, Uchiha Itachi. Without any result, you rashly leaked Akatsuki's information to Kanaha. This spy should be punished. Kabuto pushed his glasses speechlessly and walked out from Uehara's back. So this is why Naraku-sama wanted to get Suzuki? Is it because you hope that Suzuki can defeat Itachi? After speaking, Kabuto did not wait for Uehara's answer and took the initiative to continue, Forgive me, 
but I don't think Suzuki can defeat his brother. According to my understanding, Itachi was the most talented Uchiha in their clan. Relax, I have full confidence in him. Uehara shook his head and continued softly, What about your side? What is Orochimaru doing now? Kabuto bowed his head respectfully and said, Orochimaru-sama is studying White Zetsu's corpse, but his body will soon be unable to support it. The four Odinan members have accepted the order and will soon arrive in the country of fire to take away Suzuki. It looks like our plan is going well. Uehara glanced at Itachi, clutching his eyes and fleeing with Kisame's support, and whispered, Kakashi is seriously injured and hospitalized, so to avoid any trouble, I will re-enter Kanaha tomorrow to get the biological science research laboratory equipment. Thank you very much. Kabuto nodded and said with a chuckle, after I finish my mission on Orochimaru-sama's side, I will rush to Omega Kure to give Uehara-sama sufficient experimental results. That's good. Uehara patted Kabuto's shoulder and looked very optimistic about him, you can rush to Orochimaru's side now and help me watch him. I will regularly visit you secretly. Kabuto nodded helplessly. Was this visit a serious visit? Uehara comes back to Kanaha to take away the biological science research laboratory equipment stated in the agreement. Kanaha was now weaker than a while ago, and the only strong cage level in the village who could still fight was Guy alone. When Koharu and Homura saw Uehara coming to get the equipment, they were a little surprised at why Uehara could still come back alive, even as the AIM envoy. Was Hanzo too old to lift the knife? It seems the two consultants are surprised that I am still alive. Uehara showed a smile and said softly, Hanzo-sama was really angry when he learned that I gave up the condition for him to become a mechage. Unfortunately, the civil strife in Omega Kure has not yet been resolved, so Hanzo-sama let me go for my meritorious service. Is it? Homura rubbed his forehead and said, We are glad to see such a genius ninja. I'm here to give the signed Book of Alliance. Uehara was too lazy to pay attention to them, put aside the Book of Alliance scroll in his hand, and continued and take away the biological science research laboratory equipment. There are some problems with Kanaha's side. Kohara took the Book of Alliance scroll and whispered, we may still need the signature of the newly appointed 5th Hokage to ensure the long-term validity. It's just that she has something to do outside the village and has not yet returned. So for the time being, you may need to wait for a while. Uehara immediately frowned and said, are the signatures of the two Kanaha senior consultants and Jiraiya-sama uncounted? There was no need for Kohara to say who it was. Uehara has already guessed that the Kanaha 5th Hokage must be that woman Tsunade. He doesn't want to see Tsunade. What if Tsunade doesn't let him leave Kanaha? What's more, at that time, Kanaha would have two son in present. Maybe they will dare to turn their faces and not admit it, so the sooner the matter was resolved, the better. No, we just think that the agreement between us can take effect for a long time after the 5th Hokage sign the Book of Alliance scroll. Kohara spoke slowly and put on a look that was very considerate to Aim and Kanaha, in case we both retire in the future, and the fifth Hokage thinks that our alliance between us was unreasonable. I believe this will not happen. Uehara interrupted Koharu and said in a deep voice, who knows what will happen in the future? If Kanaha fifth Hokage refuses to sign the contract, how should I explain it to Hanzo-sama? Uehara clenched his fist and continued to speak, and recently I heard that there was a traitor, named Orphan, who is hyping the third Hokage's deeds in your village. I don't think many ninjas will dare to believe in Hokage's credibility now. I would rather believe in Jiraiya-sama than the Hokage. Kohara's face suddenly changed. That envy was Saratobi Hiruzen's confidant and the person they have been investigating secretly. How did Omega Kure know about this? Did that guy defect there? Hiruzen really left them a big problem. Koharu instantly calmed down and whispered, How did Your Excellency hear this news? Those are all slanders on the third Hokage. I don't care if it's slander. Uehara shook his head and continued, but this will greatly reduce our trust in your village, and I must also go back to help solve the civil strife in the country of rain as soon as possible. I can't delay a day here. Okay. Kohara sighed and whispered, if Omega Kure encounters that traitor, please help us arrest him or pass on the corresponding information, and we will give Omega Kure enough generous feedback and support. Kanaha cannot tolerate it. First of all, the Anbu trader called Orphan must not be allowed to run around or take refuge in a hostile ninja village. If Kanaha's dark history was exposed, the blow to Kanaha would be greater than the third Hokage's death. I'm afraid that Kanaha will have a big problem from the inside. While the news has not been completely spread, 
Anbu must be dispatched to search and capture that Anbu traitor who was more threatening than an S-class missing Nin. Because Koharu and Homura had more important issues to solve, they stopped their entanglement with Uehara and directly gave him the biological science research laboratory equipment. Kabuto knows too much about Kanaha. It's just a traitor ninja created out of nothing, but it made the two Kanaha consultants panic. Who knows if there was really such a person? When Uehara left Kanaha, a piece of news made him raise his eyebrows. This was a weird hidden mission. Hidden mission, Hayaga Hinata becomes the clan head of the Hayaga clan, 1-1. The mission is completed. Reward, Battle Dance. Battle Dance, quickly rush to the allies' side, granting them a layer of shield. The skill consumes 50 chakra points and a cooldown time is 7 seconds. Uehara was more amazed at Hinata becoming the clan head instead of the reward. This world was really getting more and more exciting. Hayaga clan. As today's protagonist, Hinata, this white-eyed girl was really calm in this ceremony. There was less cowardice on her face, and instead, it had more determination. If you hadn't seen Hinata's former appearance with your own eyes. I guess everyone would not be able to tell that she was a cowardly girl more than half a month ago. Sitting next to her was the paralyzed Hayashi. But the former clan's head has a caged bird cursed seal on his forehead. Because Hayashi now can't protect his Byakugan, he took the initiative to carve the caged bird cursed seal on his head as the last protective barrier, gathering the loyalty of many ninjas for his daughter. Hinata tucked her robe, sat upright, and waited for the last step of the succession ceremony. Divided lines of Hayaga ninjas knelt on the ground respectfully, saluting the twelve-year-old girl clan's head, and their voices echoed in the entire family's huge residence. We greet Hinata-sama. Please, please get up. The Hayaga girl's gentle voice was obviously inconsistent with her new identity. It was not particularly majestic and only made people feel a little bit cute. Chapter 153, About to Welcome New Members When Hinata became the clan's head and accepted the worship of many Hayaga ninjas, Uehara hid in a small cave and sneezed loudly. I have offended many people recently. Uehara sighed in a low voice, after cutting a stubble of Kanaha leeks, I will act a little more low-key in the future. I can't stand the scolding every day. Uehara's guess was correct. Someone was indeed scolding him. Jiraiya and Naruto finally found Tsunade, told her about Saratobi Hiruzen's deaths and invited her to serve as the fifth Hokage. Tsunade's attention was quickly placed on the murderer who killed Hiruzen. She smashed her glass and suddenly said, Wait. Orochimaru created the Kanaha chaos? But the guy who killed the old man was called Uehara Nariku. This name was still fresh in her memory. Tsunade would miss the aim boy who gave her money whenever she lost cleanly in the past few years. How happy they were at that time. Unexpectedly, when she heard that name again, the shy little kid had already become Orochimaru's accomplice in creating the Kanaha chaos. Tsunade hit the table with her fist and gritted her teeth, I should have killed him. No wonder I kept winning when I was at the table with him. At that time, fate reminded me that I should kill that boy. Damn it. Judging from Jiraiya's words, that little guy grew up at an amazing speed, and he was already able to fight the sunen level Jiraiya. If she had killed Uehara in the first place, Kanaha might not have suffered such a large loss now, and Hiruzen might not have died either. Uh. Jiraiya also sighed and explained, in fact, he was also helpless. After all, that little guy was just following Hanzo's instruction. This place was not suitable to elaborate on what happened. When the two of them were in private, Jiraiya told Tsunade about the nasty things about the two old men Shimura Denzo and Saratobi Hiruzen. The blonde ninja was so angry that she almost destroyed everything around her, the current Kanaha is a mess. Let me be the fifth Hokage. There was no better candidate than you. Jiraiya sighed faintly and explained in a deep voice, even if I become the Hokage, Kanaha is still in danger of falling apart, so Tsunade, only you are the most suitable person. Because Tsunade was the granddaughter of the first and second Hokage and a well-known medical ninja in the entire ninja world. She was very respected, and except for being a gambling addict, she was undoubtedly the most suitable person to become Hokage. Okay. Tsunade suddenly rolled two dice and chuckled lightly, as long as you lose to me, I will grant your request. Jiraiya didn't take her request seriously. Tsunade's brows frowned. She squeezed the two dice into pieces and muttered displeasedly, you are not as courageous as that kid Uehara. It's a pity that we will be an enemy when I see him again. Don't think so much. Jiraiya interrupted Tsunade's words and said solemnly, If nothing else happens, 
you will never see each other again. Uehara didn't know that Tsunade and Jiraiya were talking about him. While Uehara was hiding in a small cave and lamenting that his life was difficult, Nagato sent him a message through the ring, Kimimaro and Haku are back. Konan now looks so angry and wants to talk to you, I can't stop her. Nagato-sama, I'm in a cave. Uehara stroked the ring in his hand and entered Chakra in it, then whispered, the signal here is not very good, can you receive it? However, Uehara soon received no response. After a while, Konan's suppressed angry voice came from the ring, Naraku, where are you now? Go back to the village immediately. Sensei, I still have something to deal with. Don't talk about those useless perfunctory words. After you grow up, you have become more and more courageous. You dare to join forces with Orochimaru to assassinate the Kanaha Third Hokage. Konan didn't listen to his explanation at all. Even at a long distance, Uehara could imagine that Konan's face must be icy right now as if she was indifferent to everything. And this was precisely her most angry state. Sensei. Uehara lowered his head and lied, if I don't assassinate the third Hokage, I won't be able to see Danzo, who was behind when the Chunin exam chaos. And when I successfully lure Danzo out, I kill him. Danzo was already dead. So Uehara can fabricate this kind of thing. After hearing these words, the other side of the ring fell silent. Both Nagato and Konan were somewhat shocked by the news. Konan's voice seemed to have eased a lot, and she whispered, Naraku, come back first. Now the outside is too dangerous for you, although Kanaha is temporarily in chaos and has no time to hunt you, when they recover, they will not easily let go their Hokage's murderer. Sensei, but there is a problem on my side. Uehara explained in a deep voice, Itachi and Kisame went to Kanaha to get the Kyubai. Akatsuki's information may have leaked in Kanaha. Konan heard the weight of Uehara's words, so she calmed down her disciples in a low voice, there can be no organization hiding behind the scenes forever, let Akatsuki's affairs be handled by us. What you have to do now is to return to the country of rain immediately. Konan, Uehara has grown up. After Nagato persuaded Konan on the other side, he opened his mouth and said, Don't worry Uehara, you can do whatever you want. Six pain is your backing. If you encounter danger, immediately call Six Pain. Nagato, don't spoil him too much. After Konan scolded Nagato, her voice suddenly became a little cold again, I heard that Hitaki Kakashi gave you a few books. Uehara. Why was Haku's mouth so broken? Can this kind of thing be reported to Konan? Always follow the three ninja prohibitions. Konan added, remember to be cautious when you make friends. That Kakashi who tried to influence you, I won't let him go when we go to Kanaha to capture the Kyubai. Uehara. What else can he say? Of course, it's to make Kakashi ask for more blessings. Okay, I noted it down. After Uehara nodded seriously, he said, I found a kid who is suitable to be an intern. I will take him back after I find him in a few days. Pay attention to your safety. After Nagato exhorted, he suddenly said in a low voice, Uehara, thank you for helping me find a clansman. After saying this, Nagato severed the chakra's connection. On the highest tower in Omega Kure. Konan was frowning, and she looked at Nagato with a bit of dissatisfaction, I still have something to tell him. Nagato shook his head and persuaded her, Uehara is at his adolescent age. If you talk too much, he will have a rebellious mentality. Seeing Konan's suspicious gaze, Nagato continued to explain, in fact, Uehara is willing to take the initiative to do something. This is also a kind of training for him. At least we can stop worrying about Omega Kure and Akatsuki's future. After Konan lowered her head and pondered for a while, she raised her head and said, then after Naraku comes back, let him become the Omega Kure's leader and rule the entire country of rain, lest he always leaves us. Nagato didn't want to talk with Konan anymore. Konan always wanted to tie Uehara to her as if he were a child for fear that he would have some problems. But how can a man know that life was difficult if he didn't go through some hardships, and how will he know that home was the warmest sanctuary? Of course, Nagato wouldn't really put Uehara in danger. After Konan left, Nagato immediately asked Tendo Pain to use the astral projection technique to issue an order to Kisame and Itachi to assist Uehara in completing the task of recruiting new members. In fact, their real mission was to protect Uehara. This was simply outrageous. Unfortunately, this order could not be refused. Within a few days, Uehara saw Kisame and Itachi, who came to him. 
the three of them were sitting in this small cave, staring at each other. Itachi said, is the new member we will recruit a Kanaha ninja? Is it that orphan? These days, Kanaha trader orphan makes a lot of noise. Even Itachi and Kisame heard about him. Many people in the ninja world were also paying attention to this matter. No. Uehara shook his head and explained softly, but it's the same. The ninja we will recruit this time was an orphan whose parents died just a few years ago. And you are the murderer and made him an orphan. Itachi nodded and began to figure out who they were recruiting. After all, Akatsuki always prioritizes strength, and very few in Kanaha can meet these conditions. Is it Gai-san? Or is it Kakashi-san? Kanaha's orphans are too many, so Itachi came up with these two after a while. After all, only these two people were still capable of meeting Akatsuki's standards. This was not good. If it was Guy, it was still okay. But if it was Kakashi, then the blow to Kanaha would be fatal. It's a pity that Uehara kept keeping the secret and insisted on not divulging anything, which made Itachi feel a little uneasy. Do not worry. Uehara chuckled and said, Itachi-san, if you have any conflicts with the new members, I will help you. Thank you. Itachi started thinking again. If this traitor was harmful enough to Kanaha, he would kill him directly under the reason of contradiction. Uehara quietly turned on his destiny skill, and a smirk appeared at the corner of his mouth, well, let's go to the Valley of the End. Let's wait there for our new members. The Valley of the End When Uehara, Itachi and Kisame arrived in the Valley of the End, the valley was still very calm. The huge statue of Uchihamadara and Senju Hashirama stood at this valley, looking grand and majestic. When they arrived here, 500 gold coins were credited to Uehara's account. It turns out that Country of Fire or Kanaha was the correct way to start. What's the point of our coming to Valley of the End? Because this is the place where old friends split. Uehara pointed to the two figure who was rushing in the distance and chuckled, Did you see it? That is our new member. The one fleeing ahead was Uchiha Suzuki. The person chasing him behind was Uzumaki Naruto. History was forced into the established track by him. After Tsunade returned to Kanaha and became the fifth Hokage, the Odinan showed up late at night and took away Suzuki, and a group of Kanaha ninja came out to chase them. To cover Sasuke's escape, the Odinan fights fiercely with Kanaha ninja, but Naruto also catches up with Suzuki under the cover of his friends. A scene where an old friend fight takes place here in the Valley of the End. Itachi looked at the two teenagers fighting underneath them, and his face suddenly became difficult to look at. Whether it was his brother Uchiha Suzuki or Kanaha's Kyobaijin Churiki Uzumaki Naruto, no matter which one was captured, it will not be a good thing. How about it? Uehara looked down at Naruto and Sasuke's fierce battle and chuckled lightly, Itachi-san, you can pick one. Should we take your brother or Kanaha's Jinchuriki? Kisame grinned and put forward a different opinion, oh? Little in turn, is there any special order from the leader? Can't both of them be taken away? Of course we can. Uehara smiled happily, in this way, your team can complete the mission of capturing the Kyobai Jinchuriki. Itachi felt that he had encountered the biggest test since joining Akatsuki. Itachi gritted his teeth, his eyes suddenly turned scarlet, and he said in a deep voice, Uchiha Sasuke's strength is too weak, he also has a deep hatred with me. Then kill him. Uehara glanced at Itachi with a half-smiling face and continued softly, Kisame-senpai, killing Uchiha Suzuki and grabbing the Jinchuriki, is it okay for you to do this? I am glad to. Kisame carried his same hata, laughed very freely, and acted very realistically, this kid was not respectful to Itachi-san before, so I will use his head to vent for Itachi-san. Itachi. Damn, why was this shark face so annoying? Did these two people, Uehara and Kisame, trying to force him to death on the spot? Chapter 154, Uchiha Itachi who is psychologically tortured. Itachi was going crazy. Since Itachi solved Obito's threat, he thought he could safely wait for his younger brother to grow up and become stronger. Who would have thought that Akatsuki would target his younger brother before he grew up? When Kisame was about to rush down to kill Suzuki, Itachi finally couldn't hold it back and called his teammates. Kisame. Itachi stopped Kisame's movements and whispered, wait until their battle was over, then go and clean them up. Oval.com the corners of Kisame's mouth immediately arched, and he turned his head slightly to glance at Uehara next to them, Hey, in turn, what's your opinion? Then take a look. Uehara looked down at Suzuki and Naruto, 
who were fighting below. With a mysterious smile on his face, he said, I heard that the more intense the emotions of an Uchiha, the more it is possible for the Sharingan to evolve. Mainjikyo Sharingan is the highest level, isn't it? Before responding, Itachi was silent for a while, yes, the highest level is Mainjikyo Sharingan. Ha 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 ha. Kisame stood beside Uehara and began to praise, that's just a conventional way of saying that Itachi San Sharingan is the legendary Mainjikyo Sharingan, which was the eyes that Uchiha Madara has. Oh. Uehara was quite curious about it, but he still shook his head slightly and said, I don't dare to ask for a Mainjikyo Sharingan, but I am very interested in a pair of three Tomo Sharingan. So after killing Suzuki in a while, Kisame Senpai will dig out his eyes. It should be called Waste Management. What do you think? While Uehara was talking, he looked at Itachi with a smile at the corner of his mouth, after all, Obito and Itachi-san are both characters I dare not offend during the internship. So if I want to get a pair of Sharingan as a gift for Konan-sensei, I can only go and dig out Sasuke's eyes. Itachi squeezed his hand tightly. The next moment he slowly relaxed again and said softly, I don't think a woman would like this kind of gift. If you want to please your teacher, you might as well go buy a bunch of flowers. To be honest, I think so too. Kisame nodded with approval, after all, the last time you gave Konan Senpai the Shivoki, it was really difficult to look at. This is what you are wrong. Uehara chuckled and shook his head. He then softly explained, the gift I gave to Konan Sensei last time, she actually liked it in private. After all, Konan Sensei and other women in the ninja world have different tastes. As long as you are happy. Kisame nodded silently. Time was passing little by little. The night was getting deeper and deeper, and the moonlight was getting brighter. Under the shine of the moonlight, the battle between Suzuki and Naruto was finally over. Suzuki, with the three Tomo Sharingan, finally won. It's a pity that he did not have the cursed seal in the original timeline. So Suzuki fought extremely hard in this battle. Not only did it take longer than in the original, he even almost lost. Even after winning, Sasuke's body almost collapsed. As the loser of the battle, Naruto went into a coma directly. Uehara, who was watching, stretched his waist and whispered, All right, Kisame-senpai, you can act. Okay. Kisame showed its mouth full of shark teeth, and when he was about to rush down while holding same hata, a hand stopped him. The vigilance in Kisame's heart rose, but his secret boss Uehara was beside him, so Kisame didn't panic. He just chuckled and said, does Itachi have different opinions? Someone is coming. Itachi looked at several black figures rushing in the distance and said solemnly, it should be Kanaha Ninja. Maybe our actions temporarily needed to stop. The two teenagers at the Valley of the End, one was his only relative, Uchiha Suzuki, and the other was Kanaha's most important Kyuubai Jinchuriki, so there can be no mistakes. Fortunately, when Itachi was at a loss and planned to sneak attack Kisame and Uehara and tried to kill them, the Kanaha ninja's reinforcement finally let Itachi breathe a sigh of relief. At least he did not need to act. Against Uehara and Kisame, even if Itachi wants to choose a sneak attack, he cannot guarantee a 100% chance of winning. Especially against Uehara Neraku. As an intern who has been hiding in a Megakure, no one knows Uehara's accurate information, he only knows that this guy has a brilliant record in the Chunin exam. As expected, Itachi did live up to Uehara's expectations, so he said, don't worry, the leaders are just Kakashi-san and Gai-san. Even if kanaha sunan is the one chasing, we must continue to act and catch the Kyuubai Jinchuriki. Then I will kill Uchiha Suzuki. Kisame asked promptly. Uehara looked at Kisame as if looking at an idiot, since Itachi-san disagrees with Suzuki becoming a member of Akatsuki. This kid has chosen to defect, so of course he must be killed, and he can't stay in Kanaha anyway. Itachi finally couldn't bear it anymore and slowly took the kunao from his sleeve little by little. Uehara was right, after Suzuki defected, only punishment and imprisonment were waiting for him if he returned to Kanaha. The people in the Anbu torture department methods, Itachi has seen it with his own eyes, especially the Marino Ibiki, who a traitor has tortured. It was said that he liked to torture the Kanaha traitor who the Anbu captured. Forget it, let Uchiha Suzuki join Akatsuki. Itachi slowly closed his eyes as if he had made a tough decision. He continued to add, only an Uchiha ninja can fight back a genjutsu, and it happens that I can use him to temper myself. According to what Uehara said, 
treat his pupil technique as waste with practical value. Uehara and Kisame looked at each other. The two of them know the truth about the relationship between Itachi and Suzuki. Well. Uehara raised his head and stared at several figures chasing from a distance and said softly, Kisame Senpai, Itachi san, go entertain the ninja who is chasing Suzuki. I'll clean up the mess here. Well, if it's my guy, then I'm okay with it. Kisame smiled and held same hata in his hand, jumped down from the tall statue, and rushed in Kakashi and Guy's direction. I'll stop Hitaki Kakashi. Itachi frowned. He had already figured out Sasuke's situation, and in desperation, he could only swoop down in Kakashi's direction. Itachi didn't seem to make a full shot this time, but he entangled Kakashi for a while after he rushed up, then he deliberately let off a masked Anbu ninja to rush under the valley. Kanaha has a strong Anbu ninja. Itachi knows this in his heart, and his codename seems to be Tenzo. Tien, his codename when he was en route was Kino, then he become Tenzo when he joins the Anbu. He only got the codename Yamato when Tsunade gave him a mission to replace Kakashi as the Team 7 Jonin instructor. According to rumors, that Tenzo's mission completion rate in Anbu was very high. As a Kanaha spy, Itachi can't do much. If too many Anbu pass, perhaps Uehara might kill the two kids. I hope that Tenzo can live up to his expectations, and at least he must take back the Kanaha Jinchuriki. Uehara has been paying attention to the battlefield and glanced at the Anbu, who rushed over and couldn't help but chuckle, spy is a spy. Sure enough, he will let someone pass. After Uehara laughed a few times, he suddenly stretched out his palm and said in a low voice, Shadow Clone. As Uehara's voice fell, his body suddenly separated a pitch black shadow, dashing down the statue, and landed beside Suzuki and Naruto. Chapter 155, Brothers Meet Under the Moonlight Suzuki barely supported himself to stand up. Looking at the black shadow falling beside them, Suzuki could not see that this shadow was a ninja at all. However, Orochimaru has a lot of talents under his hands, and each of them has a few unique skills. Suzuki simply and neatly asked directly, Are you the one Orochimaru sent to pick me up? Does it matter who sent to pick you up? This black shadow doesn't seem to have a mouth, but the voice inside the body speaks with annoyance, as long as it can make you stronger, it's enough, right? Oh. Suzuki suddenly became suspicious, and a cruel smile flashed across his face, and after a while, he said, that's right, as long as it makes me stronger, it's enough. Then follow me. The black shadow nodded slowly, then looked at the unconscious Naruto not far away and walked over step by step. This kid seems to have unusual power in his body, we can use him. Don't touch him. However, Suzuki suddenly took out a kunao and pierced it into the heart of the black shadow, but Suzuki only felt that his kunao hit the air. This made Sasuke's heart tremble. This guy's body in front of him was a body without any sense of existence. How could there be such a person? The black shadow slowly turned around and stretched out his arm, then pinched Sasuke's neck and lifted the boy, you want to kill me? No. No. Suzuki desperately tried to tear off the black shadow's arm but only grabbed air. The ninja who came to greet him really seemed to be made of pure shadows. What exactly was going on? Obviously, this guy can stretch out his arm to grab his neck, but his palm can't touch this guy's body at all. In the next second, the black shadow threw Suzuki to the ground. Suzuki reluctantly breathed a sigh of relief, then coughed and explained, cough cough cough. I just want to test if you are qualified for me to join. Is it? The black shadow voice suddenly became a little unpredictable, and with a little higher majesty, it said, don't use your life to test the temper of the strong. Remember it well. I know. Suzuki nodded bitterly. It's just that even though his current strength was weaker than the person in front of him, Suzuki still wants to talk about terms, the person you need is me, not this yellow-haired boy. Leave him here, and I will go with you. After the black shadow was silent for a while, he suddenly laughed and said, It seems that even if you betray Kanaha for strength, your feelings are still inclined. No. Suzuki turned his head to look at the unconscious Naruto and said coldly, I will kill him in the future. Now I will spare his life so that I can use him to test the power I can get from your side and to prove that joining you is not a wrong choice. The black shadow again stayed silent for a while. It looked at Suzuki and nodded, He he he. I hope you kid can do this in the future. Humph. Suzuki snorted coldly and urged in a low voice, Let's go. 
It will not take long before Kanaha reinforcement arrives here. The black shadow raised its head, looked at a figure rushing towards their position, and chuckled lightly, he already arrived. Mokutan, Jokai Haki. Wood release, world of trees wall. Just as they were about to leave here, wooden vines suddenly blocked their way, and a masked Kanaha Anbu stopped in front of them. It was Tenso. Tenzo looked at the black shadow and Suzuki. He then said in a deep voice, Uchiha Suzuki, immediately return to Kanaha with me, don't go further and further on the wrong path. Mokutan. After Suzuki took a surprising look at the world of trees while blocking them, he turned his head to look at the Anbu blocking the way, his face gradually turning cold. He pointed at the black shadow and said, Okay, as long as you kill this guy, I will return to Kanaha with you. This kid is really troublesome. After Tenzo frowned, he suddenly stretched out his palm towards the black shadow and shouted in a deep voice, Mokutan, Dejuren no Jutsu. Wood release, great forest technique. His arm turned into countless wooden planks, rushing towards the black shadow. However, those wooden planks only passed through the black shadow and did not cause any damage. This scene shocked Tenzo's heart, and he had never encountered such an enemy before. The next moment, the black shadow slowly stretched its hand to grab the planks and whispered, We shouldn't stop a man's choice, right? Katon, Pyroclasm. A scorching flame quickly ignited the planks and rushed in Tenzo's direction, forcing him to dodge. However, the flames were still closely chasing Tenzo's back. The scorching flame was almost close to him, forcing Tenzo no time to retreat. Mokutan, Mokuchheki. Wood release, wood locking wall. A thick curved wooden pillar emerged from the ground. The flame directly hit this wooden wall. Did I use too little chakra? The black shadow raised his hand toward Tenzo's defensive technique and said in a low voice, Katon, pillar of flame. A circle of flame gushes out from the ground. Tenzo, hiding under the defense of the wooden planks, never thought there would be this kind of fire ninjutsu, so the flames gushing from the ground directly hit his body. Tenzo was scorched and had burn marks all over his body. He lies on the side with an ugly expression and watches the black shadows leading Suzuki to leave. This guy, is so strong. Tenzo gritted his teeth. Fortunately, the Hashirama cell in his body continued to bring a powerful recovery ability and ability to resist damage. Otherwise, he would have been killed directly. It's just that it's impossible to take Suzuki back now. Tenzo turned his head slowly and looked at the fainted Naruto. He barely breathed a sigh of relief. At least he could rescue Naruto. Compared to Suzuki, Naruto's identity was more important. After Suzuki followed the shadow for a while time, he finally couldn't help but ask, Who are you guys? Are you Orochimaru's subordinates or other people from Ninja Village? Really? The black shadow suddenly turned into a young ninja. He slowly turned his head to look at Suzuki, and with a smile on his face, he said, You are still so anxious, Suzuki. Uehara. Sasuke's expression drastically changed and his face suddenly became extremely ugly, how could it be you? If he remembers correctly, Uehara was from Omega Kure. Although Uehara's strength was indeed strong, after the assassination of the third Hokage, he can still fight the Kanaha elite ninjas such as Kakashi, Gai, and Jiraiya. Still, his name was not as loud as Orochimaru. Why can't it be me? Uehara looked at Suzuki with a very kind smile, Suzuki, only by joining us can you have a hope to kill Itachi. After speaking, Uehara tilted his head and chuckled softly, Hey, don't you think I'm right, Itachi-san? What? When Suzuki had some doubts, two more figures suddenly appeared in the darkness. It was Uchiha Itachi and Hashigaki Kisame who had just left the battle. Itachi slowly raised his head, looked at his brother, and said in a low voice, We meet again, Suzuki. Itachi. Even if Suzuki was exhausted, he still mustered the courage to support his body and attacked Itachi, die. Bang. Itachi punched Suzuki in his lower abdomen, then kicked him to the ground, and said in a cold voice, You still haven't grown a little bit. I don't understand why the leader wants to invite this kind of a waste to join. Bastard. Suzuki can only hold his belly in rage. As expected of Itachi-san, he is so cruel to his brother. Kisame standing beside said with a chuckle, since Itachi-san thinks this kid is useless, let's kill him now. After speaking, Kisame also explained with some triumph, it just so happened that he and Itachi-san are enemies. My same Hada can taste fresh blood, and the intern Uehara can get a gift for Konan-senpai. 
Uehara touched his chin and nodded at Kisame, I think what Kisame-senpai said makes sense. What do you think? Itachi-san. Not so good. Itachi just stared at Suzuki on the ground, frowned his brow, and said, OK, let's take him back to the base first. To tell the truth, Itachi really doesn't want to stay with these two bastards, Uehara and Kisame, any longer. Too annoying. Itachi was afraid that he would not be able to bear it anymore. Tisk. After Uehara clicked his tongue, he squatted down and patted Suzuki on the shoulder and chuckled, How about it? Joining us will give you a chance to kill Itachi. Chapter 156, Suzuki is an idiot. Uehara, what the hell is going on? Suzuki looked at everyone present and finally decided to focus on Uehara because he thought that Uehara should be the weakest of the three. Let me clarify it to you. Uehara amicably extended his palm to Suzuki and cordially explained, Uchiha Suzuki, on behalf of the Akatsuki organization dedicated to maintaining peace in the ninja world, I formally invite you to become one of us. You guys don't look like a good thing. Suzuki stared at Uehara with a sullen face and said, I first thought that you were a good person, but now, you and Itachi are partners. I have always been a good person. The smile on Uehara's face was undiminished, when you get along with me for a long time, you will know. Now tell me, are you willing to join? Although Akatsuki prohibits internal fighting, it doesn't prohibit brothers fight. Suzuki was silent for a while, then turned to look at Itachi, what status is Itachi in your organization? Itachi-san is Akatsuki's official member. Uehara chuckled and pointed at himself and then at Suzuki, we are just interns in the organization. When we are strong enough, the leader will allow us to become official members. This explanation was very easy to understand. Suzuki instantly understood his status. But he couldn't help snorted at Uehara, you were so arrogant during the Chunin exam, and I thought you were a great guy, but I didn't expect you to be just an intern. Uehara's smile on his face instantly froze. Obviously, Sasuke's words hurt his sore spot. Over the years, Uehara has applied to become an official member quite a few times, and every time he was rejected by Konan, he even asked Nagato for pity. Whenever Uehara saw Akatsuki's uniform, he couldn't help but think of that rewarding side mission. However, the side mission to become Akatsuki's official member was as difficult as the mission to win against Tsunade and let Naruto blacken, and it became Uehara's heartache. Where was the problem? Obviously, Uehara would practice almost every day and work very hard to make Konan see that his strength was getting stronger. No matter what Konan asks him to do, he will do his best to accomplish it. As a result, every time he mentioned becoming an official member to Konan, she would coax him to practice obediently in the village and learn to govern Omega Kure with her. It's just like coaxing a child. The smile on Uehara's face reappeared. He turned his head to Itachi and asked softly, Itachi-san, can I discipline your brother for you? So he won't offend another senpai in the organization. I don't care. Itachi turned his head carelessly. Crack. There was a crisp sound of cracking bones. Uehara violently twisted Sasuke's arm. Ah. Suzuki couldn't help but cry miserably. Sasuke's cry was so painful that Itachi turned around involuntarily and frowned as he looked at Sasuke's injury. Uehara's palm was glowing in green, and while he was treating Sasuke's injury, he smiled and persuaded, although I am also an intern, you are an intern who joined after me. Remember to call me senior, understand? Suzuki just gritted his teeth and said nothing. Just as Uehara wanted to continue beating him, a bandaged sword fell beside him, preventing his movement. Kisame smiled softly and said, we still have to give Itachi-san a bit of face. Although the two of them are enemies, they are still brothers. Itachi suddenly shows a hint of gratitude in his eyes while looking at Kisame. Uehara looked at Kisame's eyes dangerously. What's the matter with this spy? Suzuki didn't appreciate it at all and even said coldly, since he killed his parents and all of his clansmen, he stopped being my brother and became an enemy I wish to kill. Itachi-san, look. Kisame suddenly showed a helpless look. Itachi shook his head and said in a low voice, ignore him. Suzuki was vulnerable since he was a child and only used his mouth to be arrogant, as I said. Itachi's words suddenly stopped because he felt that if he said that Suzuki was not suitable to become Akatsuki's member, it was estimated that Kisame and Uehara would say something like, Suzuki was not suitable? Then kill him. This was really sad. Itachi didn't know what to say. 
Itachi straightened up his collar little by little and said softly, Forget it, let's hurry up and return to the organization's base so as not to re-encounter Kanaha's pursuit. Itachi was quite happy. After Suzuki joined the Akatsuki organization, he was able to see Suzuki often and personally protect Sasuke's safety. It didn't seem to be particularly bad. The only problem was Sasuke's hateful gaze. But it will not be that long. When Suzuki and Naruto fought just now, Suzuki Sharingan had evolved from 2 Tomo to 3 Tomo Sharingan. Itachi began to calculate in his heart what opportunity he should pick for Suzuki to open Manjikyo Sharingan, then he could die peacefully. Even Itachi didn't mind using his death to let Suzuki get rid of the knot. It's just that before his death, Sasuke's life must be arranged. If Suzuki was still in the organization at that time, he would be bullied. Unfortunately, this was only Itachi's wishful thinking. When passing by a dessert shop, Kisame suggested having lunch in this shop. Suzuki immediately expressed dissatisfaction, I hate sweets. But Itachi-san likes sweets very much. Kisame's mouth smiled and looked at Suzuki. He seemed to be helping Itachi, so he especially liked to bully Suzuki. Itachi looked helplessly beside him and could only turn his head to look at the other person, What do you want for lunch, Uehara? Uehara casually glanced at Kisame, My taste is a bit strange recently. I want to eat shark fin. Hearing Uehara's words, the expression on Kisame's face suddenly became unsightly. After this group of people ate and drank enough, Suzuki saw an opportunity when Itachi drank water. Lightning flashed in his palm, and he rushed in Itachi's direction, Chidori. Bang! Itachi kicked Suzuki to the ground. After Itachi stomped Sasuke's wrist tightly again, he slowly said, Uehara, is it alright to injure him a little bit? I don't want to drain Sasuke's remaining utilization value and let him become complete trash. Rest assured. Uehara chuckled and waved his hand to heal Sasuke's wound as long as you don't screw off Sasuke's head, I can heal him. On their way back to the country of rain, before they even left the border of the country of fire, Suzuki sneaked and assassinated Itachi at a frequency of more than three times a day, each time he was easily defeated. Along the way, Suzuki did not succeed even once in his assassination, only resulting in Kisame's alienation and Itachi's anxiety. Itachi felt that Suzuki didn't know how to be a real ninja. Kisame thinks that Suzuki was really an idiot. When Kisame disliked Suzuki, another ninja in the ninja world who liked to adopt orphans was furious. Odagakur. Having sacrificed the four Odinin and not heard anything about Suzuki, Orochimaru's temper was a lot more irritable, what is going on? My body is on the verge of its limit. Kidomaru and others have not yet brought Suzuki back. Perhaps our plan has some deviations. Kabuto pushed his glasses and reluctantly persuaded, Orochimaru-sama, why not use living corpse reincarnation first? And Uchiha Suzuki may not be the best choice for Orochimaru-sama. But he is the most suitable right now. Orochimaru slammed his fist on the experiment table. Due to using excessive force, he could only tremble and lay down on the chair beside him, go and help me prepare for the reincarnation. A new body will still work, and it can last for three years. In these three years, I will successfully study White Zetsu body. After speaking, Orochimaru slowly turned his head, and a pair of snake pupils was mixed with a trace of gratitude, Kabuto, thank you for bringing back White Zetsu's corpse and let me find a new kind of body. When Kabuto turned around and was about to leave, he suddenly stopped, and his face looked more respectful, no, I should be the one to thank Orochimaru-sama. Because of your presence, I saw the most suitable path for me. Ho ho ho. Orochimaru slowly smiled and said in a low voice, yes, I also have found a new path. As long as we can catch enough white zetsu, impure world reincarnation and living corpse reincarnation can be further improved. Orochimaru slowly turned his head and looked at a coffin with the first characters engraved beside him, and a trace of obsession flashed in his eyes, as long as I can get a white zetsu, I will soon have the power of the first Hokage. Since Orochimaru began to study white zetsu's body, he quickly discovered the wonderful structure of this creature. This creature was not like a ninja and their bodies seemed to be compatible with any chakra. This was very magical. As long as it can be compatible with chakra, it can accommodate any bloodline limit. For Orochimaru, the blood inheritance he hopes can be integrated into White Zetsu's body. As long as he gets a living White Zetsu, and as long as that White Zetsu can hold Mokutan's bloodline limit. Orochimaru believes that he can rely on Mokutan's power to gain a foothold in the ninja world. Most importantly, 
White Zetsu's body structure was very unique. Orochimaru discovered that White Zetsu might serve as a sacrificial vessel for the impure world reincarnation and perhaps enable the dead to exert a much more powerful force. The only problem was that the powerful impure world reincarnation was not easy to control. And where should I look for White Zetsu? Orochimaru tapped his finger lightly, his cold pupils tightened slightly, and he slowly muttered, I remember that guy has always been Akatsuki's intelligence officer. These White Zetsu should be its clones, but Zetsu's whereabouts are always uncertain. It seems that I need to find a way to get his information from any Akatsuki member. Chapter 157, Are You Kidding Me? Akatsuki's Base Uehara hadn't been to Akatsuki's base for a while, and he now had a faint feeling for this place in his heart. After entering the base, Uehara and his party found that there were many people today, and it seemed that all the official members had gathered here. Official members, Pain, Konan, Sasori, Diadera, Mangetsu, Zabuza, Kakuzu, Haiden, Zetsu, plus Kisame and Itachi, who have just arrived, the official members are all here. The intern was only Uehara, and perhaps Suzuki will become an intern from today on. As for the non-staff, Kimimaro and Haku were also here, and today their team has an extra Karin. Wait, something was not right. Uehara couldn't help but glance at Kimimaro and Haku's clothes. Why did they both wear Akatsuki's uniform? In terms of strength, Kimimaro and Haku were not yet possible to qualify as Akatsuki's official members, right? Could it be that Akatsuki's uniform will be released today, and the official membership was open? Uehara couldn't help showing a hint of joy. Even Kimimaro and Haku were able to join. Doesn't this mean that he was also qualified to become Akatsuki's official member? Uehara slowly moved towards his position and couldn't help but chuckle and said, is the organization going to have a team building today? Sasori raised Hiroko's head and said coldly, What team building? Isn't it because a new member will be joining today? Is it this kid? Diodera looked at the unfamiliar Suzuki with a smirk, It seems that this kid doesn't seem to be very strong, is he qualified to stand with us? Kakuzu glanced at Suzuki with dissatisfaction, Akatsuki is not a place for little cat or puppy to join in. Don't always attract these teenage kids and you are turning this place into a kindergarten. When Diodera heard this, he immediately became unhappy and opened his mouth to retort him, that's better than becoming an activity center for the elderly. After all, Diodera joined Akatsuki at the age of 12, and this year he was only about 15 or 16. The generation gap with the old man like Kakuzu was too big to get along with. After speaking, Diodera even kindly attracted another person of his age, Hey, Uehara, am I right? Cough 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 cough. Uehara coughed a few times, and when he was about to say something, he glanced up at Conan next to him and saw Conan's cold face getting colder and colder, making him close his mouth subconsciously. Since Uehara entered Akatsuki's base, Conan has not spoken a word, which was different from her attitude towards Uehara. Moreover, the silence was generally a precursor to Conan's anger. This was also normal. After all, Konan has always disliked Uehara's participation in the Akatsuki matter, but Nagato's opinions completely contradict her. Seeing Konan angry, Uehara felt a little abnormally happy. Was it because he was going to become an official member today? All right. Pain interrupted everyone and turned his attention to Uehara. He said in a deep voice, Uehara, why don't you introduce the new member you recruited? Rather than let me introduce him, why not let Itachi-san do it? Uehara suppressed the smile at the corner of his mouth for fear of arousing Konan's anger. He slowly raised his head to look at Itachi and softly said, Perhaps no one in the ninja world knows our new member better than Itachi-san. Itachi was silent for a while, then turned to look at Suzuki and said softly, This is Uchiha. I am Uchiha Suzuki. Suzuki interrupted Itachi with a cold voice and said loudly, The only real member of the Uchiha clan, I joined Akatsuki to kill Uchiha Itachi and Uchiha Obito. Diodera immediately becomes dissatisfied, what? It's another Uchiha. Are you Uchiha all going to come here in Akatsuki? As a person defeated in the hand of Itachi, Diodera was undoubtedly the one who hated Uchiha the most. It just so happens that Akatsuki has a fate with Uchiha. Just a few years ago, a man named Uchiha Obito was forced to defect. He heard that he still wanted to join again, now, they have added another Uchiha. There were only a few Uchiha in the ninja world and all of them had a close relationship with Akatsuki. Akatsuki's members turned their gazes to Suzuki one after another, and everyone frowned involuntarily, then after a while, 
it fell on Itachi, seemingly wanting to see his reaction. However, Itachi's face was calm, and he didn't seem to care what Suzuki was talking about. This was the confidence of the strong. The enthusiasm of Akatsuki's members who wanted to watch a good show suddenly faded before turning their heads to look at Uehara. Sasori couldn't help but ask first, Uehara, why are you soliciting the enemies of official members to join Akatsuki? Hey hey, Sasori senpai, this was not my idea. Uehara shook his head hurriedly, and with a smile on his face, he said, Itachi-san mentioned it himself. He took the initiative to recruit Uchiha Suzuki, who has just become a traitor, and I also strongly oppose it with Kisame Senpai. Yes. Itachi nodded and responded, My Genjutsu needs to use a person with a lot of spiritual energy to practice. It happened that Uchiha Suzuki opened the three Tomo Sharingan, so he has a certain value. Oh? It seems like a little genius. Sasori immediately changed his attitude and slowly educated Suzuki in the tone of an elderly, Hey kid, remember not to be too arrogant in front of us in the future. If you are like Deodara next to me, you won't live long. Suzuki was too lazy to talk to him. On the contrary, Deodara was furious with anger, Hey, 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 Sasori-san, I have always respected you. But you always blew up my puppets. This proves that my art is one level higher than Sasori-san's art. Do you want to die, dot? Deodara, Sasori, stop arguing. Payne interrupted their quarrel with a cold voice and said solemnly, I'll announce the new organization team members. Kimimaro and Haku will become official members from today. Yes. Kimimaro and Haku seriously agreed. After Payne nodded in satisfaction, he turned to look at Uehara, but when Payne saw the expression on Conan's face next to him, he fell silent and seemed a little stuck. After a while, Payne seemed to have made up his mind and said in a deep voice, I originally wanted to delay it for a while. Since Uehara has recruited Uchiha Suzuki, he will act with Uchiha Suzuki as an official member in the future. I don't agree. Conan slowly raised her head, looked directly at Payne, and said, Naraku has more important tasks, and he almost caused a disaster when he went out this time. I object to. Itachi said in a deep voice, although Uehara's strength was very strong. I suspect that he may have some connection with Orochimaru, and he should still need to be under the supervision of Konan Senpai. After saying this, Itachi added, and I need to bring Suzuki with me during this period. On one hand, I can use him for training, and on the other hand, it is also convenient to monitor him so that this guy will not defect to Uchiha Obito. These words can hardly be more reasonable. The corner of Kisame's mouth hooked, and he chuckles, actually, I also oppose this, but I am not opposed to Uehara becoming an official member. I think Uchiha Suzuki is not qualified to form a team with him. I think so too. I don't agree. Kakuzu glanced at Uehara coldly and said in a deep voice, I think this kid, Uehara Naraku, can work as an accountant in Omega Kure from now on. Akatsuki has enough manpower. To be honest, after Uehara left, Kakuzu still missed him a little bit. Although Uehara always collected money quickly, he was also very refreshing every time he allocated funds for activities. This was far better than his teacher Konan. I agree with Kakuzu Senpai's opinion. I also think what Kakuzu Senpai said makes sense. I also agree with Kakuzu Senpai's opinion. Several teams expressed their agreement with Kakuzu's opinions. It seems that many victims have been tortured in Konan's allocation of activity funds. After all, Konan, who had a difficult life since childhood, naturally doesn't like other people spending money lavishly. Konan naturally doesn't care what they think. When hearing the other members supporting her, Kona's cold face showed a slight smile, and her palm softly fell on Uehara's shoulder and whispered, then let Naraku study with me for a while. Payne was silent for a while, looked at the people present, and nodded slowly, then let Uehara continue to learn from you, and for the time being, let Uchiha Suzuki follow Uchiha Itachi and Hashigaki Kisame's team. Uehara slowly raised his head, and there was a little doubt in his eyes looking at Payne. You said so much today, but you were just kidding me? Konan took Uehara's hand, the smile on her face slowly subsided, and she returned to her cold look. Naraku, come with me. I want to talk to you about something. Konan was still angry. Chapter 158, The Task of Destroying Kyuzagakur Lake Shore Konan raised her head and looked at Uehara. This disciple of her was already taller than her, 
and she couldn't help but remind again of Nagato's persuasion and Jiraiya's teaching. The anger in Konan's chest slowly subsided, and she reached out to help Uehara tidy up his clothes, Naraku, tomorrow I will arrange for you to become the leader of Omega Kure. You are a ninja in the country of rain, so slowly learn to shoulder the responsibility of a leader. Uehara's face suddenly drooped. He shook his head weakly and said, Konan Sensei, Pain is the most suitable leader of Omega Kure. Uehara knew it for a long time. Konan doesn't want Uehara to mix with the current Akatsuki, and she wants him to become the leader of Omega Kure according to the established route she set. This was also the difference between Uehara and Konan and also the difference between Nagato and Konan. Perhaps it was because of too much suffering. Konan always wanted to arrange a bright and smooth journey for him, but what Uehara wanted was not this. The future of being tied to a small ninja village every day and always under Konan and Nagato's wings. Was this what he should do as a man behind the scenes? Uehara grabbed Konan's hand and said solemnly, Sensei, I have been practicing in the village for four years, and I have researched a lot of ninjutsu. This time, I didn't fall into a disadvantage even when I fought against Jiraiya. I know, you have too much guts. Konan slowly raised her head to look at Uehara and said solemnly, and you actually assassinated the third Hokage in Kanaha this time, in case something happens to you. Nothing happens, right? Uehara helplessly patted his forehead and said, Anyway, I refuse to become the leader of Omega Kure. Konan slowly stretched out her palm and stroked his cheek. Her hot breath fell on Uehara's neck, her voice getting lower and lower, Naraku, we want to give you the best. Why do you always refuse? Maybe there is a generation gap in our concept. Uehara blinked and stared at Konan's orange eye. He softly changed the subject, that. Sensei, I brought you a gift, and you will love it. Okay. Konan's eyes suddenly had some doubts. Uehara quickly took out a scroll from his ninja bag and placed it in Konan's hand. He chuckled and said, didn't I tell you before? After the assassination of the third Hokage, I got in touch with Denzo. Of course, this was a lie. In fact, Danzo's assassination was even further. Except for Kabuto, no one else knows the truth. Konan's gaze suddenly hesitated. Her expression was a little hard to say while looking at the scroll in her hand, so what inside is? Uehara nodded, and with a smug smile on his face, he said, Yes, it's the corpse of Shimura Danzo. Uehara shook his head and sighed. He continued to explain, Shimura Danzo seems to have mastered a life-saving technique. He has transplanted a bunch of Sharingan, and every time he closes one of the Sharingan, he can be protected from any harm for some time. It took me a lot of effort. This was also to provide information. In the future, when Konan or Nagato meet Obito, they must be clear that having Sharingan means a period of invincible time. Uehara had some regrets on his face and said, Because of this, I didn't bring him back alive, only his corpse. Konan's expression was a little dazed. Her mood was incredibly complicated at this moment, and she didn't know what to say. Every time this disciple of her went out, he would bring her some weird gifts after coming back. Although these gifts were all in line with her, they always felt a little odd. Yes, she does hate Danzo. But what was more important than Danzo was Uehara's emotional intelligence. Uehara brought a corpse over as a gift. Wasn't his EQ a little bit lower? Was there a problem with her education? Okay. I'm going to treat Nagato-sama first. After Uehara waved his hand, he took this opportunity to interrupt the talk and turn to leave here. Konan nodded hesitantly. Her eyes fell on the scroll in her hand again. A trace of hatred flashed in Konan's eyes, and there was an additional explosive tag on the scroll. Konan threw the scroll with the explosive tag into the lake and quickly closed her palms, Gajay Kaibaka Fuda. Mutually multiplying explosive tags. Bang bang bang. Countless explosive tags exploded the scroll to pieces. Obviously, both the scroll and the corpses inside were all turned into pieces. After finishing all this, Conan's eyes slowly flushed with relief, and a pair of wings spread out behind her, driving her slowly to the sky. Omega Kure. Above the highest tower. Nagato was thinkering sure to pain here. After hearing the sound of the door opening, he turned his head with a smile on his face and said, How is it? Is Conan still angry? What's going on today? After Uehara waved his hand helplessly, his gaze immediately fell on Shuridu's body, oh? Does Shuridu have any new component? Well, didn't you persuade me before? 
I have now made Shuridu into a one-time use puppet that can explode and directly destroy everything in a radius of tens of kilometers through self-detonation as pain's last resort. Nagato casually put away Shuridu pain and whispered, From now on, when you go out, take Shuridu pain. When you are in danger, you can use your healing technique to activate its self-destruct mechanism. Uehara shook his head speechlessly and then started the previous topic again, What's the matter today? How can Kimimaro and Haku become official members but not me? Hey hey, Nagato-sama, you promised to me before. I want to wear a uniform too. Kona brought up those two children, so they naturally listened to Konan's orders. Nagato glanced at him and sighed, Uehara, if you hadn't assassinated the third Hokage this time, you would have become an official member when you come back. Uehara couldn't help but twitched, but I successfully assassinated the third Hokage. Doesn't it mean that I have become stronger? But you have too much guts. Nagato shook his head and said in a deep voice, The five great ninja village is not as simple as you imagined. Don't do such dangerous things in the future. Even if you do, you must summon the six pains in advance. Got it. Uehara waved his hand and said, Why are you now in the same camp with Konan Sensei, Nagato sama? We should be in the same camp. It's too dangerous to be with you. Nagato glanced at Uehara and continued to shake his head dully, If I knew you were so bold, I will. Hey, what's done, is done. Uehara hurriedly interrupted Nagato's words and said loudly, Anyway, you promised me when you were communicating with me before, you will let me put on Akatsuki's uniform and become a full member. It's just a small matter. Nagato patted Uehara's shoulder and said in a deep voice, After I take care of everything, you will be the Akatsuki's new leader. Uehara. The minds of Konan and Nagato were outrageous. One wants him to be the leader of Omegakure and the other wants him to be the leader of Akatsuki. He just wants to complete the mission of wearing an official uniform of Akatsuki. Hurry up and give me a task. Uehara patted Nagato and urged anxiously, I'm a little worried that Konan Sensei will force me to succeed the village leader tomorrow. If I become one, it may be difficult to leave the village in the future. I will go out today and hide for a while. To be honest, Uehara felt a little afraid to come back. Konan and Nagato placed too much hope on him but he just wanted to be a man behind the scenes. Of course, Nagato refused him. He shook his head and rejected his proposal, if Konan can't find you, she will trouble me. Are you helping? Uehara folded his arm. Nagato couldn't help but whisper, okay, I just have a task here. You are going to attack and destroy Kuzagakur. This task was originally for Sasori and Diodera to be completed, and it's yours now. Is there a reason? Yes for a good reason. Nagato nodded and explained in a deep voice, the area of, the country of grass is connected to the country of earth and the country of fire. After Kuzagakur is destroyed, the two countries will definitely have disputes over the ownership of the land in the country of grass. Moreover, the Kanaha and IWA ninjas who sneak into the country of rain will also be sent to the country of grass, reducing our chances of exposure. Nagato slowly closed his hand and continued with a deep voice, the last reason is something I heard from Karin. Her mother was also a descendant of the Uzumaki clan but died under the abuse of this village. Perhaps this reason was the most important. As the relationship between Uehara and Nagato got better and better, Nagato gradually became more and more human. He gradually learned to be gentle and angry again. Karin and her mother were descendants of the Uzumaki clan. In a sense, they were also Nagato clan members, and he naturally has some thoughts to recover this debt. Fine. Uehara nodded solemnly, and he glanced at the Shuridu in the room again and said softly, I will bring the Shuridu out to act together. Okay. After Nagato nodded earnestly, he added, I heard that Kuzagakur has been planning to start a war recently. Maybe you can find evidence if they are trying to start a war against Omega Kure. I can also make Konan think you are just doing business. I see. When I go back, I will bring you gifts. Uehara left Nagato's room instantaneously and his face became serious. If he remembers correctly, there should be a hidden base near the border of Kuzagakur. Chapter 159, How Versatile is Sage Mode? After Uehara left, countless origami pieces flew into the highest towers of Omega Kure, and Konan's figure appeared in front of Nagato's room. After she opened the door and walked in, she frowned and asked, Nagato, why is it only you here? Where is Naraku? Cough, cough. After Nagato coughed a few times and whispered, 
didn't you also get news of the change in Kyuzagakur some time ago? I asked Uehara to deal with it. Konan frowned. Just as Konan was about to turn around and leave, Nagato began to persuade her, Konan, don't push him too hard. At this age, he wants to do something big by himself. Yes, I understand. Konan nodded and said softly, I just came here to tell him that I allow him to become an official member but he must hide his identity because the future leader of Omegakure cannot be contaminated with darkness. After speaking, Konan added, Forget it, since he has left, let's tell him when he comes back. Nagato's eyes were faintly showing pity, it seems that Uehara's luck is not very good. I hope that little guy won't cause any more trouble. Fate was always magical. Uehara didn't know anything about their talk. He was still looking for the secret base where Obito and Zetsu hid away, but soon after leaving Omega, he met Black Zetsu, who was waiting for him. Black Zetsu gloomily stopped Uehara and asked, Uehara, after going to Kanaha, did you find any information about Kanaha's Kyuubai? Well, I already have information about Kyuubai and Ichibai Jinchuriki. Uehara nodded, and his face slowly became serious, but I also got another piece of information. I believe that Senpai should have also received the news about the codename Orphan Betrayal, right? Is Obito Senpai really a Kanaha spy? How is this possible? Black Zetsu shook his head and said with a smile, Obito is very concerned about the Eye of the Moon plan. How could he be a Kanaha spy? I can finally rest assured. Uehara nodded. Of course, he didn't just say a word of nonsense but seriously took advantage of Black Zetsu precautions hearth. Although Obito was not yet Kanaha's spy. But when Uehara returned from Kyuzagakur, it was estimated that Black Zetsu would believe that Obito becomes a Kanaha spy. Maybe Obito will believe that Orochimaru was the spy that revealed his information. At that time, Uchiha Obito, Black Zetsu and Orochimaru will soon start a big fight. Uehara dare not say anything else, but Black Zetsu must be a loser. Black Zetsu never knew that Uehara wanted to sell his information but instead nodded with admiration, very well, as long as we collect enough information, we are one step closer to the Eye of the Moon plan. Okay. Uehara nodded seriously and continued softly, Senpai, we are doing the Eye of the Moon plan behind the scenes. Don't disclose it to others. Don't worry, I will pay attention. Zetsu's body slowly retracted to the ground. The corners of Uehara's mouth twitched slightly. If we don't disclose the news, then Obito was the only one that revealed the information. It's just that this matter needs to be handled carefully. It's best to schedule the time. According to Uehara's last experiment of the Shadow Clone skills and Inherent Glamour skills, he can find ways to reveal the information cryptically. Obito really was pitiful. Now on the side of Kanaha Ninja, Obito was a traitor who assassinated fourth Hokage couples and created the Kyuubai Rampage for Saratobi. On the side of Nagato and Konan, Obito was a murderer who wanted to murder his junior and was suspected as Kanaha spies. In the future, on the side of Black Zetsu, Obito will become a whistleblower, a despicable Uchiha, a traitor of the Eye of the Moon plan, and so on. Go and do business first. Uehara's body floated in the air, flying slowly in the country of grass direction, and by the way, check his previous reward for defeating Tenzo. Side mission, defeat Tenzo slash Yamato, 1 slash 1. The mission has been completed. Reward, a hidden inheritance mission. Hidden inheritance mission, the forest holds many surprises. Say a correct name. Uehara did not hesitate too much. After all, there were very few heroes with similar wood attributes, Zyra, Rise of the Thorns. The mission has been completed. The legacy of heroes opens. Deadly spines, after dropping a bunch of thick thorny vines in the target area, the vines will explode and release countless wooden thorns in the area. The minimum consumption is 70 chakra points and the cooldown time is 3 seconds. Grasping root. Release vines from the front to quickly restrain the enemy's actions. The minimum consumption is 70 chakras, and the cooldown time is 5 seconds. Strangle Thorn, summon the wrath of nature by releasing dense thorny vines in a wide area, the vines will automatically attack the enemy in the area. The minimum consumption is 100 chakras, and the cooldown time is 45 seconds. These all belong to the Mokuton, would release, category. Uehara was actually looking forward to the genuine Mokuton. After going to the country of grass this time, if he has the opportunity, he can find a time to trouble Orochimaru and see if he can get a more powerful Mokuton ninjutsu after defeating the Senju Hashirama. In addition to Senju Hashirama, 
there was also the second Hokage Senju Tobirama, known as the strongest water ninjutsu user, plus the two powerful forbidden techniques of impure world reincarnation and living corpse reincarnation that Orochimaru needs to turn in. These were all precious leaks. How long has it passed before the leaks in Orochimaru can be cut again? Of course, you can't just know how to harvest, but also learn to cultivate, and by the way, see if you can let Kabuto find a way to learn the sage mode of Rika Cave. According to Uehara's guess, the step to advance his sage mode should be to defeat the sage mode of the three holy places. Sage mode, open. Uehara's fingers landed on the curse seal on his arm, and the natural energy contained in it almost poured into his body, making him feel the power in his body expand rapidly. Behind his back seems to be suppressing something. It's a little itchy. After a while, Uehara suddenly grew two pairs of white wings. In an instant, Uehara felt a qualitative change in the power in his body, and all the chakras had been converted into sage chakras. Sage mode, the second form of ascension. When the sage mode state was turned on, Uehara was a little surprised. After the sage mode was turned on, his status improved beyond belief. The second form of ascension, open chakra automatically converts into sage chakra, the cooldown time of all skills is reduced by 100%, the life energy is increased by 400%, the life energy recovery rate is increased by 400%, and the sage energy recovery rate is increased by 400%. Life energy, 57,124 points, sage mode. Sage chakra energy, 14,765 points, sage mode. Life energy recovery rate, 36 points per second, sage mode. Sage chakra recovery rate, 24 points per second, sage mode. Sage mode chakra consumption rate, 10 points per second. Uehara frowned and glanced at his skill panel. Except for the cooldown time that disappeared, the skill consumption did not change. This means that if he uses some powerful skills to bombard wildly, it was estimated that his sage mode cannot be supported for too long. It seems to be used for flying. And can also be used for physical combat. Uehara controlled the two pairs of white wings behind him and flew up. His speed has almost increased about four times, making him feel as if he has been strengthened. It would be great if the two pairs of wings on the back could be put away. Wouldn't he be able to maintain sage mode freely? However, these two pairs of white wings symbolize Uehara's opening of the sage mode, just like the toad eye pupils of the Mount Mayaboku sage mode. They can't be retracted at all. In addition to being handsome, these two pairs of wings were useless. Things like wings were actually human dreams. Because humans were always standing on the ground, humans were always eager to fly. Uehara sighed and flew towards Kyuzagakura at a super high speed, almost leaving an afterimage in the air. After flying for a while, Uehara suddenly realized a problem. He seemed to think too narrowly. In the sage mode state, his skills have no cooldown time at all. Not only can it be used to bombard the enemy wildly, but it also can be used to speed up the journey. For example, the destiny skill that has a long cooldown time has no cooldown time now. Destiny. An elusive smile suddenly appeared on Uehara's face, and then his body suddenly disappeared in the air, and a series of ultra-long distance travels and investigations finally began. A few minutes later. Uehara completed the investigation of the entire country of grass border and finally locked the position of a person and a group of white zetsu. Uehara stood on a big tree, looking down at a closed cave. Uehara's eyes faintly glowed with a touch of gold, which was precisely the ability of hunting rhythm. He looked at the ground under the cave carefully, and the smile at the corner of his mouth could hardly be concealed, it's been a long time since I saw you, Obito Senpai. Chapter 160, Don't You Just Want to Pour Dirty Water on People? Uehara was very busy. Now Uehara was squatting on the outskirts of this secret base, eagerly waiting for White Zetsu's clone to emerge and be caught by him. By the way, he used his very crude drawing skills to draw this map base. Uehara map drawing was more abstract than the maps he bought in some small shops. Basically, he wrote rough azimuth data and drew a few iconic hillsides. When mapping the geographic location, Uehara would alternately turn on hunting rhythm and destiny from time to time to investigate whether White Zetsu appeared. After a long time, a clone of White Zetsu appeared under the secret base. It uses Mayfly to swim far away. According to his observations, the destination of this White Zetsu should be a nearby village. When this White Zetsu just got out of the ground and turned into an ordinary person, someone patted it on the shoulder and placed a scribbled map in front of it, friend, 
Can you read this map and find my home? Oh. White sets his brow suddenly wrinkled. Since he transforms into a stranger's face, he lowers his head to look at the map with peace of mind. What is this? Map. White Zetsu glared displeasedly at the strange man behind him and started criticizing the scribbled map. What is this? A mountain. What is this? A lake. And this? A forest? What kind of mess is this map? Who can find a hillside location from the forest? It also says about a few kilometers. As White Zetsu said this, his voice gradually lowered. It seemed to have thought of where this place was. This was the secret base where they and Obito had hidden. White Zetsu turned his head to look at the stranger, only to see a mysterious smile on the stranger's face. White Zetsu suddenly felt bad in his heart. The next moment he planned to escape and rush back to the base to report, his body was strangled by vines. White Zetsu's face suddenly changed, and he asked in a deep voice, Mokutan. Who are you? How come you have Hashirama's Mokutan? Oh, I'm just a painter. The stranger's face changed again and Uehara's original appearance was restored. He chuckled and said, Well, it seems that there is nothing wrong with the map I drew. Uehara Nariku. This white Zetsu immediately recognized this person whose name was often circulated in the base, and even he had secretly monitored Uehara in Omega Kure for a while. It was said that Black Zetsu and Obito quarrel every time because of this guy. This person should be their ally. A few years ago, this white Zetsu saw Uehara in front of Konan and Nagato helping Obito to join again, but Konan and Nagato were very stubborn and refused to accept Obito again. This white Zetsu reluctantly comforted himself and asked in a low voice, Uehara, what are you doing? Why did you catch me and write down the location of our secret base? Are you Nagato and Konan's spy? Are all white Zetsu nagging as annoying as you? Two pairs of white wings suddenly spread out behind Uehara. He carried the vines in his hands and flew into the sky. This white Zetsu seemed a little afraid of heights because he lived under the ground, so he kept cursing in the air. Uehara knew that this white Zetsu wouldn't live long, so he didn't care about white Zetsu's cursing. This white Zetsu will be sent to Kabuto. Uehara spread his wings and flew to Odagakur's vicinity. After landing, this white Zetsu said solemnly, This is Odagakur? Uehara, why are you bringing me here? You've been to quite a few places. Uehara chuckled lightly and began to use the destiny skill, and soon found Kabuto's position, but Orochimaru was not in the village right now. Since the Kanaha collapse plan, Orochimaru seems to be less concerned about Odagakura's existence. The number of ninjas in this village was also decreasing, and even the guards were not alert. This was also normal. After all, Kanaha has been tracking Orochimaru, and right now, they are concentrating on the so-called orphan Anbu defection. When they calm down, they will definitely find a way to send someone to suppress Odagakur. At least in name, Odagakur should be eliminated. Orochimaru also doesn't care about Kanaha's actions. The foundation of Odagakur was himself, and as long as he was still alive, he could build a new Odagakur in the future. Uehara found Kabuto with little effort, and it happened that Kabuto was carefully experimenting in the laboratory. When Kabuto saw Uehara, he didn't feel particularly surprised. He had seen the technique of his new boss many times. But why does he stare at the experiment table like a curious baby? Was he still planning an explosion experiment again? Cough 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 cough. Narakusama. Kabuto hurriedly interrupted Uehara's thoughts. He lowered his head and looked at White Zetsu next to Uehara. His eyes lit up, is this White Zetsu? Well, I just caught it earlier, and it's still alive. When Uehara talked about White Zetsu, he seemed to be talking about a fish. He took out a map from his ninja bag and handed it to Kabuto, this is the map I drew, and it is the base where White Zetsu was currently hiding. You have to find a way to guide Orochimaru to catch them. Understand. Kabuto looked around the map for a while. As a spy, he had seen many scribbled maps, but the map that Uehara gave him was really hard to describe. Fortunately, Kabuto knew most of the terrain in the ninja world. He accepted the map obediently without saying anything rude words. Instead, he focuses more on the living white Zetsu. After researching these days, Kabuto and Orochimaru have become more and more eager for white Zetsu. White Zetsu's biological energy has played a huge role. Kabuto pushed his glasses, and a hunger for knowledge flashed in his eyes, I will now use this white Zetsu for human experiments on Hashirama cell transplantation. There are Hashirama cells here. Uehara's eyes suddenly lit up 
you help me prepare a Hashirama cell. I want to transplant Hashirama cells to a descendant of the Uzumaki clan. Originally, Uehara wanted to get a copy of Hashirama cells for Nagato. Since there are Hashirama cells here, let's take a copy from here. Is it Karin? Kabuto's brow suddenly wrinkled, and his brain seemed to have figured out something, yes, the Uzumaki clan is born with strong vitality, and they are also the easiest carriers to carry the Hashirama cells. It is even possible to awaken Mokuton. It's a pity that the descendants of the Uzumaki clan are scattered all over the ninja world, and it is too wasteful to use them for experiments because they are difficult to find. Don't mention these theories. Uehara gave a dissatisfied look at Kabuto and said softly, This white Zetsu has already seen my true face. You can't let this guy survive. After you finish the experiment on the Hashirama cells, you can cut its head off. Uehara, you bastard, you despicable villain. White Zetsu immediately began a series of scolding. Within half a minute, White Zetsu used all the curse words he knew in his life to describe Uehara. Kabuto was ashamed of hearing it. In fact, Orochimaru occasionally scolded Uehara secretly. However, compared to this White Zetsu, Orochimaru's cursing words appear to be very friendly. Uehara ignored White Zetsu and just looked at Kabuto, who was helping him get the Hashirama cells, and asked, Kabuto, where is that guy Orochimaru? Is he starting a conspiracy again? No. Kabuto took a closed bottle and sealed the bottle in a scroll before handing it to Uehara, Orochimaru-sama is in Kyuzagakur having a transaction. Over the past few years, Orochimaru's experimental funds have been derived from transactions with small ninja villages, small countries, and rich and powerful people. Kyuzagakur was also one of his partners. Oh, I hope he finishes it soon. Uehara shook his head and said with emotion, I will go destroy Kyuzagakur after I leave in a while. If Orochimaru fails to get enough money from the transaction, he will never get the payment in the future. Kabuto. Oh, was he going to be pitted again? A few days ago, Orochimaru occasionally developed a tool that seems to be used in warfare. To make a fortune from Kyuzagakur, Orochimaru was going to talk about prices and collect data. However, it was estimated that this transaction would be directly called off. Orochimaru didn't even take the advance payment from Kyuzagakur this time because he was too confident of his strength, and a small village will not dare to cheat Orochimaru. But if this small ninja village was destroyed by Uehara, it was a real force majeure factor that even Orochimaru has nothing to say. Kabuto glanced at Uehara speechlessly. He didn't know what to say. Why does his new boss Uehara always cheat his old boss? Uehara put away the sealed scroll and kicked the still living white Zetsu, and whispered, as for how to lure Orochimaru into attacking Obito and White Zetsu hidden base, you don't need me to help you think about the reasons, right? Of course not. Kabuto quickly chuckled and shook his head, I can easily solve this little thing by myself. After all, I have enough reasons. After finishing talking, Kabuto glanced at White Zetsu with regret, if Orochimaru-sama is here, we can use it more. It's okay. You can catch more later. Uehara patted Kabuto's shoulder and said, Orochimaru is just a tool man, and your potential is endless. You must learn the impure world reincarnation and go to Ryakai Cave to learn their sage mode. Throughout the entire history of the ninja world, only Kabuto has learned Ryakai Cave sage mode. Uehara wants to evolve his sage mode, so he can only temporarily pin his hopes on Kabuto. Otherwise, he has to try to kill the white snake sage. Moreover, Kabuto can master the impure world reincarnation, which was a potential stock. Kabuto will also have the highest achievement among the three subordinates of Uehara in the future, and he was much stronger than Kisame and Mangetsu. Understand? Kabuto nodded hesitantly. To tell the truth, Kabuto did not think that Uehara had high hopes for him. Oh, yes, there are a few more things. Uehara suddenly turned his head, grabbed Kabuto's shoulder, and asked softly, I want to blame the leaks of White Zetsu and Obito's base on Black Zetsu. Anyway, he is a lonely guy, as long as it is blamed on him. No one would believe him even if he denied it. Can you do anything about this? Can. Kabuto pushed his glasses and whispered, I will take care of this, so Narakusama can rest assured. In addition to these, there is information about Zetsu. Uehara patted the shoulder of Kabuto and continued, There are black and white Zetsu. White is just a bunch of waste with low combat effectiveness. But Black Zetsu claims to be Uchihamadara's will. It exists for a huge plan. As for this plan, 
I will tell you after I figure out how to make it up. But you can find a way to leak it to Orochimaru in advance. There should be no problem if I leave this to you, right? Uehara found that it was excellent to have a spy next to Orochimaru. In this way, he could directly pass the information to Kabuto and let Kabuto find a way to leak it to Orochimaru. In this way, there was no need for him to rashly use Orochimaru's identity to make trouble, lest flaws appear in the middle. Kabuto glanced at Uehara speechlessly. Do I still need to think about how to make it up? Aren't you just trying to pour dirty water on Black Zetsu? However, as a qualified subordinate, Kabuto knows what to ask and what not to ask. When to answer and when to shut up. After Kabuto was silent for a while, his gaze slowly turned to White Zetsu, who was about to die on the experiment table beside him, Narakusama, I want to know more about White Zetsu. Whether they have human thoughts or it can only follow what is commanded to. You mean to ask, whether this White Zetsu and Obito have a good relationship, or is it has a better relationship with Black Zetsu? Uehara touched his chin, looked at the more irritable White Zetsu, and said softly, White Zetsu should have no brains. They do what they want, and maybe their brains are filled with water. You bastard have no brains. White Zetsu, who stopped cursing beside him, was irritated again, Uehara, you despicable villain, shameless and indecent, your brain is full of water. Kabuto pushed his glasses slowly and said, it seems that we can use this White Zetsu as Black Zetsu messenger sent to cooperate with Orochimaru-sama. If they really cooperate, will there be any threat to Narakusama? Rest assured. Uehara smiled confidently and spread out his hand, in the entire ninja world, I can't pick out a few people who can be my opponents. This was the confidence after having Sage Mode.